We are narrowing down to one more week. Champions of the Realms week seven. Pool play was kind of crazy. We had a lot of hype matches that went down. A lot of new faces that showed up as well. And man, oh man, I got to say, man, I'm excited for the top eight. Be sure to tune in this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone, live on twitch.tv slash destroy FGC. The top eight for week seven is going to be going down and it's going to be wild. I mean, check out this pool play here. Check out some of the competitors that made it into the top eight. If you want to see the full roster, be sure to follow me on Twitter or be sure to follow Caboose on Twitter. We'll have the top eights posted up there. And I love you all. Stay safe. And if you enjoy the Champions of the Realms, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And enjoy this crazy MK11 action. What is up, everyone? Champions of the Realms, week seven. Pool play is about to go down. This is it, man. We are at the last two weeks for the tournament series. Console Gaming League putting a ridiculous amount of support into this tournament series, and the community putting a lot of support into the series. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know what's going on. Caboose, this is it. Two more weeks, bro. Two more weeks, 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 weeks. Sorry, chat. I'm sorry, chat. About about. I'm sorry about this. All right. I don't know. Uh, oh, the predictions. The chat points. You the know? predictions <laughs> kind of just. The predictions just, went up. The you know what I'm went saying? Up. Um, but yo, you're right, Destroyer. Big shout out to everybody. We got two more weeks of Champions of the Realms to go. Week seven begins tonight. We are gonna bring you guys the action. Big shout out to CGL for the thousand dollars they've committed to the prize pool and all the money that you guys have been donating to the prize pool. Thank you so that. much. You guys are incredible. We really appreciate every single thing that you guys do for Champions of the Realms 2. And week seven is going to be nuts because this is it. Two more slots remain to qualify for that finale that'll be taking place some at some point. Hey, this you month, you might need to boost your mic just a tad bit. A bit from the levels I'm seeing here. All right, how do, how do I sound there? Am I good there? Uh, chat, chat, is he there? good? Chat, chat. How, how do I sound? How do I sound? Chat, do I sound good. Nice is Galactus nice good to go? Do I sound good? How do I sound? Sound like, yeah? Oh, yeah. you say you sound good. Perfect. Evolvable. Evolvable. Perfect. And yeah, Evolvable. you know, this Evolvable. is this is week Evolvable. seven pools. We're getting straight into our first match right now, which is going to be kind of a, a, a canon Evolvable. one. We got Burrito Voorhees going up against a player named Trap desert now i don't know what to expect Ooh, here caboose yeah. but <laughs> don't, don't that. whoa what yo what code of con what is that code of con what the fuck oh shit! wait what, what? what? he picked code of con oh, oh okay <laughs> he picked code oh never <laughs> so code of con <laughs> did sneak in real quick to say that what a son of a bitch holy wow shit. All right, well, here we go. Game one about to be underway between Trap Desert and Burrito Voorhees. Trap Desert rocking Scorpion, which we haven't seen in a minute. You know, there's something really interesting about the Scorpion Destroyer. What? Now, I've watched... Has anybody heard Trap Desert? Trap Desert... It's not a Heidi. No. No, 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 no. Because I was going to uh, no, say... No, no. The, the, well, the, the, he's actually representing a team over here called oh, FK. Sick. I don't. I'm not too sure what it stands for, but... I think Trap Desert, you know, he's come in here. He's he's a legit Scorpion player. We're about to find yeah. out what this dude okay. is about. I, I was just about to say, uh, had that not been the case, 
They're rocking Sorry. a very similar look when we see Averk rocking his scorpion. So I was like, hold up a minute, hold up a minute. We're right about that. Already getting started with these crazy teleports, but look at that burrito boy. He's just trying to knock his fucking shoes off. Gonna drag him to the right side of the screen. Almost a crushing blow, just a little more distance. Spank Spanky Doodle, could you could you put some music in here, Spanky? Like, yo, Spank why does Spanky Doodle follow me on Instagram? What's Spanky Doodle doing? Ah, he's I trying to. I told him listen, I don't like him. He's trying to I get a. He's, like trying to, he's trying to get a little recognition. And, you know, we gotta think about it. That sucks. That sucks for Spanky Doodle. I don't care about his olive branch. All right, tell him. Tell him to get out of my mansion. He heard you, bro. He's not. He's not happy about that one. I. I don't care. He's not happy about. The, oh my God! The back two two conversion from Burrito. Gonna give him a nice jump back to optimal. This is looking really good here. Another back two two. Holy and cow! Burrito Voorhees just popping off. And look at this man showing his sand bending skills. He said. That's exactly what he said. Ooh, good down one interruption on the empty teleport. That's good recognition from Burrito Voorhees right there. Interrupting him. Great setup there. And right now, Burrito Voorhees What's is up? absolutely insane. Huge crushing blow combo. And, and you got what? You got a hype train in the chat right now? You do got oh, a hype train no in the chat. Oh, no way. Thank oh, you so oh, much, people, for the hype train. The back two twos, man. This is looking like a signature for Burrito. Oh, Straight into the what interactable. A setup. That was what nasty. What a setup. That okay, was Burrito nasty. Burrito Voorhees came to play. A thousand bits, too, coming in oh from TJ God. Scott. Oh, my God. Yo, TJ yo, Scott. Yo, sending in the bits. Yo, TJ Scott. Cojo lo suave, nene, coño. Diablo, pero... Coño. Yeah. Diablo, pero diablo. Yeah. Sorry, I'm uh, getting a little out of control. I'm getting a little out of control. No, I agree. I, yeah, no, I'm getting, I'm getting a little out of control. Yeah, yeah. By yeah. the way, listen, look. In the stream, in honor of Champions of the Realms, we got Pog Tree, and we got the the Shadow Priest up in this bitch. I want to see all those emotes in the chat right now. If you're sub to destroy the thing. Look, the Shadow Priest coming through with Johnny Cage's glasses. You ever seen that one? I want to see the Shadow Priest, and I want to see I want to see the tree pod. And I want to see Lay in the carnage. Ooh, we got to get a, a emote of him next, or her. He was, the Leander Karanej was in my uh, my chat yesterday. They wanted the 1v1 me, but I was just shutting down the street. Oh, I see. There's Leander Karanej. Oh. Leander Unbelievable. <laughs> Yo, look who just saw Sir Kaka P. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh. That is a true fan of the Champions of the Realms right there. <laughs> Sir Kaka Pee Pee. Ooh, good down one. <laughs> Go to the down back two. Straight into a command grab into the corner. Gonna crush early. The fucking triple XL fish straight to the face. Beautiful stuff here. Burrito Voorhees gonna get a big combo in the corner. <laughs> so and precise with those down twos. Yeah, keeps Trap Desert in this corner right now. Trap Desert is having a rough go at it, especially with the way that Burrito Borges has been playing. He's been unstoppable. Fail, adapt, evolve. <laughs> oh my God, another down back two. He's got this pressure on lockdown. But wait a second, FK Trap Desert really trying to make some something happen here. He's down one, try to go for the back one. I, re I really respect it, but Burrito just standing his ground. You know, he just came straight out of Giovanni's Pizza, had the pineapple yep. pepperoni special, and he's feeling good. He is feeling good today. Good blocks. Gonna tag him with the plus frames. Oh my God, Trap Desert try to push a button, but instead he's gonna get the ribs broken. Went for the sand trap. Nice anti-air. Oh my God. God. Burrito Voorhees is seemingly unstoppable right now. Really not sure what Trap Desert could do here. Gotta find something. Goes to the back three. Empty jumps. Play. Okay. Twice in a row. I really like that. Tries to go for the overhead. Magic Pixel. You can't give him an opportunity to hit there. That'll be game two. Going to Burrito Voorhees next time, perhaps. Damn, and look at one of the nastiest outros in the game. Gonna rip the flesh out of his arm and then rebuild it. I don't know what the purpose of that was. What he's trying to show there. He has a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, high pain tolerance, I guess, huh? That's what he was trying to, trying to state. Yeah, I guess so. He pulled it's the Terminator.
Rip the, rip I the am Gyrus. Look at Evolve. this. Look what I can do. And then rips the flesh out of his arm. <laughs> we all, what would have been awesome is that in that outro, if the camera zooms into his eye and you just see like a small tear come out. Trying to hide the pain. <laughs> he, tries to, he tries to hide the pain. <laughs> this man's just crying. <laughs> oh my god. Evolvo. Who did that? Who keeps saying that? Are you letting people in the studio? Uh, no. That's that's gotta be on your end. You cannot blame me for that. I don't even know what's going on anymore. But these forward 2-1-2s coming out of Burrito Voorhees are just looking so aggressive. He's dragging FK Trap Desert straight to the corner. Oh my god. He's gonna put the time stop on him. Oh, tagging him out of the air. Wait a second. Trap Desert is gonna make a switch to Sub-Zero, which can be... Oh. A little bit of lag. Nice <laughs> flawless block there. Yo, though. look. It's, it, it's not a coincidence this this guy switched to sub zero and is lagging. <laughs> oh, wait a second, conspiracy. Nah, this man, he, he came with the sub zero and he got the special variation move, the hidden variation move called the lag switch. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the sub zero special. You gotta watch out for what the was that? to get the tricky combo, but he drops in Burrito Borghi's on match point now. Let's see what happens here. Gonna try to tag him with a down one. This man, Trap Desert, is in big trouble. He's pretty good with these whip punishes. I'm liking him, you know? Knows how to throw that, that poke and then take a step back and try to catch you slipping. Beautiful damage there. 35%. But the get up roll from Burrito Voorhees. Oh, no. Burrito oh, Voorhees gonna continue the onslaught right now. This oh, is no. This exact position that Trap Desert does not want to be in. Had an opportunity there. Gets it with the forward two to the Amplified Ice Ball. Breakaway there from oh! Burrito Voorhees. Got caught by a forward two again. My goodness, the mix up. Oh, I think he might be dead he here. Overcommit. He might be dead here. Scary. There's a lot of damage. The He's gonna go over the setup. Oh, he did a command grab. Wait, what? Did he spend it already? No. Trap Desert with the wake up jump. Tries to hit him with the oh, with the whiff again. Oh no! I think that's a death. Throw, that's death. And that will be it. Burrito Voorhees takes that set 3-0. I guess uh, we're gonna be looking at another champions of the speed runs here, huh? Yes. A another champions so. of the speed run. That might end up being the case, Destroyer. And to be honest, I'm not sure how to feel about it. But regardless, when we're in the last two weeks here, the competition is just about as high as it possibly can be. Two more slots to be filled. To qualify for that finale clearly people are going to be battling it out to make top eight and as well to win top eight so you guys are in for some hype this yeah. week and the next you are right about that uh also you know going down to the last week you got one more week here if you didn't sign up for week seven you got one more week here week number yep. eight going down on my boy caboose's twitch channel you're not going to want to miss out and you're not going to want to miss out on the competition as well you want to get signed up get signed up right now exclamation point sign up in the chat uh hold on give me yeah, one. Destroyer, destroy. i got something really important to tell you go for it nicholas dinkelberg said he just farted oh Nicholas Dinkelberg. Thought that thought that was important for you to know. All right, uh, let me get these next invites in. I had a little mix up here, but we got everything underway. The next match seems like it's going to be Robo Tussin going up against Enchanter Remus. Two very familiar names, and I, if I'm not mistaken. I think Robo Tussin is going to be rolling in with the uh, Sub Zero. We're getting right into this caboose. Robo Tussin going up against Enchanter Theta. Oops. No. What's his name? Hey, Robo Tussin going to be rocking another Gearus here. Enchanter Remus. Okay, I obviously don't know. I don't know my players, unfortunately. I thought I knew my players. I thought I knew my players. Son of a bitch. I thought I knew my players. You son of a I really thought I knew my players. I'm sorry, everybody. Please. Spare me. Sorry. Right, well, here we go. Game one about to be underway between Robotuzzin and Enchanter Remus. Gyrus versus Noob Saibot. Gerson? Gerson versus Noob Saibon. 
You wish to be the Lin Kuei's Garrison vs. Noob Cinnabon? You wish to be a Volvo. Then serve Giovanni, he said shut the fuck up. Oh! Yo, wow. Gears. Gears really needs to take a chill pill. Already really getting started. The, the new intro dialogue DLC. It's really good. No, seriously. If you guys haven't downloaded it, it's uh, free 99. You definitely want to check it out. Oh, he caught the overhead but didn't commit to the full string. That would have been a crushing blow for Robotuzzin. That's a whiff punish there for Enchanter Remus. Immediate breakaway, though, off the forward 2 2 1. I'm really digging Enchanter Remus' variation name here. Freaking uh, Premier Zoner. <laughs> and he's not wrong, you know, noob side by can be. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful conversion. Let's see this pickup. How much damage? 32%. But yeah, you were about to say, like, you're, and you're right. Noob Saba can be a bit of a zoning character. Oh, he can annihilate you with the zoning. Well, with that, uh, with that slide right there. He can give you a big problem with that zoning. Gotta be careful though when you don't have the meter because the normal slide unamplified is unsafe. Robotizen going for the sand trap. Oh, good down two. Tries to catch him again. Fatal blows locked and loaded. That's gonna be a lot of pushback. He did the wrong sand trap. He could have caught a punish there. It's okay. He still has a pretty decent life lead here. Chip avoided. Oh my god, they're jumping. Be really careful. Oh, got caught by the down one. Robotas and takes the first round. That was a good down one right there. You got Humpty Dumpty coming in. That kind of looks like Garrus' brother in the background. Oh, the big guy, yeah? Yeah. They look like they could be uh, related for sure. Very good throw here. He's got him in the corner. Enchanter Remus. This is his chance to make something go down. Just as I say that, though, the tides have turned. Robo Tussin gonna gain control of this corner position. Never mind. Not sure what was going on there. That's a freaking battle of the left screen. Very punishable. The forward 2 2 into the slide. Nice tech on the throw there from Robo Tussin. Wait, chat. Are, are we agreeing that Humpty Dumpty in the background was Gears' brother? Yeah, <laughs> is, is, that, yeah. is that like cannon? Oh my so. god. Right there, there he is. Gears. He's coming back. He's uh, not paying attention enough to the match. He's looking at his brother over in the background. He's like, you want to go to Giovanni's. <laughs> oh, a drop combo there from Robotizer. This still is crazy. Has control. This Gotta is too really much. This battle here. here is too much. Oh, the end oh, here. Oh, here. Yo, this man enchanter cannot fuck up. This is it. He just needs one chunk to take oh, away. Good man. stuff. Wow. That was nerve wracking. That was Shibut and Pipo wrecking right there, man. I'm, I'm not even playing these matches, and I'd be sweating most of the time. Tries to go for the low sand, gonna counteract with the Shadow Ball. Both these players kind of showing respect to each other here. Good sand oh, trap. Crush. I think that's crushed. No. Oh, no, it's not. I didn't know if you missed the sand trap enough. I saw him purposely missing it. Whoa! Cross up, trying to go for a grab. Great call out there from Enchanter Remus. Enchanter said, not today. He said, I'm going to send you to Giovanni's with a broken lip. Oh, the, the down ones from these players right now is looking like a freaking clown it's fest here. Like oh, that could have been a punish. Forward 2-1. A lot of blocking on both sides right now. Nice down four into the sand trap. Robotuzzin gonna get some good damage off of that. Has the fatal blow as well. An anti-air attempt gets stuffed. And that could have been the game. Robotuzzin that was a really good breakaway. Barely gets the defensive meter. Down to the wire this match is. I'm talking Robotuzzin is one confirm into fatal blow away to he closing this out. He could have gone for the fatal blow oh there off the God. jump in. Bro. This is intense. Oh, oh what a what flawless, a God -like block. flawless block. Enchanter Remus. Bro, Enchanter just channeled his inner demon to hit that right there. What the fuck? Dude came out of nowhere. He went sicko mode on that. But seriously, I wonder what happened there because off the jump in, Robotuzzin could have potentially reacted with Fatal Blow. And yes. With the time ticking down, just Dude. going out of Fatal Blow, even though it wouldn't have killed, would have could, would have brought that life lead down quite a bit. My only, like, explanation for that is probably nerves. I think the nerves definitely yeah. got the best of him there and he kind of just didn't react to it. And there was also another moment I saw he could have definitely took advantage of that whiff grab. He kind of just stood in front of him and did not do anything about it. That could have been a forward 2-1, a dash up 1-1. One, one. There was multiple things he could have done there to secure that round. But unfortunately, and well not unfortunately, Enchanter Remus is going to be taking that round. Going yep. up 1-0 against Robotussin.
with how tight that game was, though, I can certainly see a scenario where this game or this set certain uh, it goes the distance. Oh yeah, these players are definitely playing to their strengths here, and it's kind of looking like an even battle. See how this next match goes down. Done trying to go for the optimals, and he's gonna get punished for the overcommitment. Not sure why he went for the uh, or did he switch variation? Not too sure. No, 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 no. He's got the cost. Tries to hit him with the low shadow. He's okay, getting very ball. aggressive here. This is what Robo Tessin needs. Good throw. He's gonna give him a slam dunk straight to the ground. Another one. Another throw, yep. I gotta say, man, you know, for Gearis to, to just catch you in grab loops, it's such a, such a strong strength of his, you know? Yep. Another one. He just has him in this, in this vortex right now. Had the jump in that could have potentially been a game. You were right about that. Just walking so back. Careful of that fatal blow. Saba's fatal blow can do a ton of damage when comboed into. All it takes is a one-one-three into fatal. Wow. Oh, let go of block there at the end of that pressure. Yeah, he sent him flying. I'm liking the spacing Enchanter's trying to play here. Definitely living up to that that uh, variation named Premier Zoner. Wait a second, no Robo Tussin. Beautiful. One more throw. He's got to guess correct here. I wonder if Enchanter's going to try to go for that throw early or just going to try to save it for, you know, the next round if he can secure this. Oh my God. It all depends on how this wow. play out here. A throw punish. That's like the 15th throw we've seen Robo Tussin land. Nice Beautiful. Robo Tussin is controlling this corner right now. I can definitely see a lot of cocky Bale coming out of Enchanted Remus here. This corner pressure from Robotussin is frightening. Wait a minute! Caboose, this could be his Isn't moment. Slide? Oh, Holy that is shit. the game off the up to wake up. Felt like that was old Garrus for a Holy second. Free nerf Garrus. Remember how fast that thing was before? Yo, it was so unfair. That up to wake up was one of the most ridiculous things in the game. You blink and the next thing you know, you get a hit with a 30%. Yeah, and it was so easy to combo off of his up to as well. You blink and then the next thing you know, he's fucking taking you to Giovanni's Pizza, making you try the, the new pineapple pepperoni. Yeah, Gear is special. Like a good time. I'm gonna. That's why me and Garris were, were, were tight like that. Wow. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, why do you think now, every now and then, he always goes, Phil, adapt, yes. lay in the carnage. <laughs> well, this is the first time I heard him say that. What do you mean? That's the first time I heard him say that, bro. You're lying. Holy shit. You're lying. Yo, Jarek. Yo, Jarek, you heard that? Jarek, you heard that shit? <laughs> wow. We'll tied one apiece here. Robo Tussin going up against Enchanter Remus. This match is getting heated, bro. Shadow Ball's all over the place right now. He tries to hit him with a low send, but this movement from Enchanter Remus is just fair to be pretty useful here. Good anti air. What's Robo Tussin gonna hit here? Oh, juicy damage, bro. Off of the anti air, 34%. Get the fuck out my face! Whoa, whoa Gears. Nice. Relax. Great flawless block there from Enchanted Remus. Gonna go for the restand into the 2 1 2, but no amplified slide is gonna open up an opportunity for Robotuzzin to punish. Doesn't get the full punish to land though as he drops the combo. Fatable territory off of this throw for Enchanted Remus. Now, what happens? Goes for the wake up roll. Blocks the overhead on the 1 1 1. Back three into oh my Fatal God. off of a whip punish. Big move there from Enchanter Remus. That should be the round. Actually. No, yeah, that's right. Geez, 30, 37%. Back three into Fatal, 37%. That's just beautiful stuff right there. You love to see it. Let's see if Robotus is going to be able to recover from that one. Just taking a step back here. I mean... I kind of feel like that's not what you want to do against a character like Noob Saibot. Once he's not in that full screen position, he gets annoying as shit. Wait a minute, Robo Tussin is giving him the ass whooping of a lifetime. Let's see what he can do here. Beautiful dive bomb, giving him the Zangief Deluxe. 
Enchanter went for the anti-air, oh. but he went for it a little too late. Four after the down three. He said, Zangief, I love you. These throws and all the damage that's been adding up. Oh, another again. one. Again, this time a back throw. Enchanter Remus getting bullied. The body splash into the forward 2-1, and we're all tied up on these rounds. Sure, we got ourselves a set. Yeah, I don't know. These players woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something, but they're putting their anger all out in this match here. You can feel the tension going down. The wake up 1-1 one, one punish. Giving him the double jab to the mouth. All right. Wow! wow. Stealing the turn that Enchanter Remus thought he had. Tries nice to block him low. Wow, the what one time he goes for that mix up, bro. Enchanter was ready for it. I definitely think he's got the fuzzy down pack. Robotus is going to have to think about it next time he goes for a mix up like that. Oh my god. Robotus made the read. Oh, oh my shit. god. Robotus made the read. He went for the throw, but he went for it, I guess, a second too late and wasn't able to get the punish off the wake up roll, which opened up an opportunity for Robotus to get this huge fatal blow combo. What does Enchanter Remus do now? Not a lot of life left. No fatal blows available on both sides. You gotta be so careful. And it looks like Robotuzen is gonna connect the sand trap and pop the eyes of Noob Saibot out of his head. Bro, he choked him out. He said, Premier Zoner, I just wanted Giovanni's. And he choked him out, snapped the neck, popped the eyeballs. And that's gonna be all she wrote. No, 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 sorry, sorry. There's only 2-1. I thought that was it for some reason. It's only 2-1. You're, you're really making me angry tonight, you know? Yo, this man's gonna turn into the Incredible Hulk? Hold up. Stay in that carnage. Who did that? Who said that? I don't know, they just like... Yo, check your ceiling, bro. What check the your fucking what ceiling. Fuck? You see that? Who's that? Who you letting into the studio, man? Yo. You gotta tell me. You gotta warn me about this. All I'm saying is what we're seeing, people, is picture the, uh... You guys know the liquor? The liquor from Resident Evil? Picture one of those things on the ceiling right now. That's what Caboose is dealing with. Yeah. Yep. Wow, starting to match up with a, with a Shadow Ball. Gonna knock him out of the air. That was some genius plays from Enchanter Remus. Good down down three. He's gonna jump over. Trying to open him up here. On one two, blocking the overhead there from Robotuzen. I don't know. I'm kind of sensing a. Uh, I'm kind of sensing a game five. Nice I mean, the way Enchanter three. started up here, man. Definitely. That guess is not too far-fetched because Enchanter is about one touch away from setting us to a, 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 a round point for him. A game point here. Good overhead. Two. Tries to get the jump in, but a, yo, and listen, man, Robotus has been, he's been on point with those anti-airs this entire set. Yeah, exactly. He's been doing a really good job. Nice flawless flex as well. Enchanter Remus, very consistent with that. Ooh. And the slide from mid-screen will take that round. Enchanter Remus, one round away from sending us to our first game five of the night. Thank you so much for the uh, for the subs, everybody. I really appreciate it. Yeah, they're amazing. The support to show the champions of the realms is unmatched. Tries to tag him with a down one. Enchanter's got him locked down in this corner. This is his chance to just go all out. Get aggressive here! Oh no, the drop! Not that sure is what's happening bro, here right now. A that's so bit unfortunate. Playing the corner. That's so sad too, because Robotuzen was out of defensive meter. There could have been so much damage on the table for our for uh, Enchanter Remus. Good throw. Oh my! No. Robotuzen is kind of making his comeback happen. This round has been all Robotuzen right now. Damn! My goodness. Ever since Enchanter oh! got sent to the corner, holy shit. Even though half of Robotuzen's life bar was erased there, like, it felt like a flawless round the way that he just played. That was pretty absurd. Tries to tag him with the low, right into a, a Shadow Ball. Robotuzen trying to delay that forward 2-1-2, but Enchanter 
just blocking for his oh my god wow smart no. plays i actually now no. i understand why he's going for that no. he recognizes that off the forward two one two that enchanter remus is going for the flawless block and so because he's letting go of block he's going for that grab to try and call that out really smart plays from robotus all right a lot of damage on the table here i'm pretty sure he's that the next shadow tackle is gonna be crushing blow he's gotten a couple of them already Whoa, that was fucking oh, sweet! Man. And Tantaremus. Oh, man. Be oh, that could have been a punish. He's got to be careful. My chest. I, oh, I, 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 I'm nervous. Oh, my I'm God. I'm nervous. Oh, my God. Oh, he tries to delay it again. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. The neutral jump kick, and that'll be the game. We're going to a game five. Yo, Enchanter Remus is really trying to make people shit their fucking pants here. What is going on? Going to the game five. I wonder if Robotus is going to be sticking with the Gearist. Or if he's going to be making the character switch to the character I was suspecting him to play in the first place. Which was uh, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero? Sub-Zero? Leyenda Carnage. Oh, shit. Did, did Sub-Zero say that? Or? I don't know what's going on. Who said that? I don't know. Yes. Whoa, Robotizing, hold on. Come on. Noob, what? What's happening? What's... Yes. Okay. What is going on right now, bro? This guy's gonna go back with the Gearus. Robotussin was really taking a sweet moment to think about it right there. Wow. And for some reason, dude, I think uh, Mary Luna took off Sweat MD and Crispy Fungus. So we're gonna be moving on to a different match after this, unfortunately. I wonder what what, what went wrong. Maybe they weren't responding or something. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna have Guillotine and Evobo and then Raw Jedi and Midnight Ninja. Row there. Still got this last match to go through. Game five between Enchanter Remus and Robotuzzin. Hell of a back and forth. Robotuzzin kind of sees that he's maybe gonna switch characters, but as I probably would have agreed with, or I do agree with. With the, uh, with the gear. Very good stuff. Try to catch it with a whiff punish. We'll wait a second. Robo Tustin trying to play that distance game. I like it. Oh, that could have been huge. I think he was looking for a follow up down one, but nothing came out. A dookie came out. I don't know. Maybe he did do a little dookie, a little. Uh... What do you What do you say? What's the saying you say? What? A little cocky butt. Cocky butt. Match point right now for Robotuz and Noob Saibot. A little bit of cocky butt going on. Oh my god, the intimidating walk up into throw. That's got to be one of the scariest things I've ever seen. And then another throw connects to punish the wake up throw. Robotuz and continues the onslaught. My goodness. And Chandra is oh. a full defensive meter trying to wake up roll and still ends up back in this corner where Robotuz is going to do a huge, huge damage in combo. Close to 40% above 40%. And then another throw. Robotuz hasn't been touched this round. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Flawless victory. Damn, bro. That was unbelievable. GG's. Enchanter Remus gonna be sent to the lower bracket. Robo Tustin just activating slaughter mode and popping the fuck off. He really activated his ultra instinct there. Uh, by the way, hashtag bring back KI if you know what I'm saying. But good stuff there from Robotuz and really closing it out with the Gearus playing out of his mind. Very GG's. Very GG's to Robotuz. I'm surprised he uh, just came out of nowhere with that, that flawless victory there, bro. Like, what got into him? Did this dude get possessed by a demon or something? Yeah, seriously, what happened there? I'm not entirely sure. 
But either way, Robitussin will be moving on. Chantarim is not out of it. The good thing about every match that you usually see during Champions of the Realms, whether it's the pool play um, or just the first couple of matches every time we watch the top eight, is that these players have a second chance opportunity in the lower side of the bracket to still make top eight. So we'll see what Enchantaremus can do there. Big ups, though, to Robitussin with the Gearus. Who right. do we got next? What were you saying? I'm not too sure who we got next. I'm trying to find out right now. Next match is the fourth match, right? I'm not too sure. What was that? I think that was the second match, no? Or was First that the third match? match? Burrito Voorhees and um and and it was what was it? Trap Desert or something? Yeah, and, and that then, was this the second match? I think this was the second match. We are uh we're getting into the third one here. Was it? I'm pretty sure. Let me find out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think the next match is gonna be. King Gambler versus uh, E.B. Lau. <laughs> this is a tough one. Where are we looking? What pool is this? I'm not too sure what pool this is, but let me get these invites out real quick. Let me find them. This should be a good one, man. King Gambler, we really haven't seen him showing up in the Champions of the Realm series, but I got to say, this dude has one hell of a Night Wolf, without a doubt. And the person he's going to be going up against here, I'm honestly not too sure who this player is going to be bringing to the table. This is a, a, a pretty unfamiliar name. I mean, I feel like I've seen him before, but... Bilal? Bilal is tired. King Gambler versus Bilal is tired. What pool is that? That is in pool two. It's actually in the quarterfinals. Deeper in the bracket there. All right, let me see. Hopefully, oh, so it's gonna auto DQ King Gambler. I gotta check him in. I feel though every time we do see her, she's a lot of fun to watch. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. Did everything just freeze up on you for a second? Oh uh, no, why? Are you loading into the game right now? I'm in the game. Oh, are you gonna have that delay? Let me close my my software. Maybe that's what it is. I think you might have a delay going it, into it this might match. Be, it might be my software. It might not be the King of the Hill. Did the game load up yet? Yeah, it's loaded in. I'm in. You're watching it right now? Yes, sir. Round one fight. Yeah, it's in. It's, go it's going down. This man freaking fucking caboose went back, back, back to the past. I hope I'm not behind. He went back to the future or he went back to the past? You, you got to tell me if I'm behind. By the way, Foxy Grandpa with the raid. We really appreciate Whoa, that, Whoa, Foxy. So Thank you so much, bro. We really appreciate Listen, that. everybody, go sub to Foxy's only stomps because this guy started a fucking... He started a problem with that goddamn Shiva. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So man came oh, in, yeah. man came in showcasing the dragon stand, stopping everybody out. The next thing you know, the whole fucking Shokan army because of him. I am Shaolin. All right, so you probably oh, are behind. I just saw a fly kick. You see, they're destroying projectile. Interactable just interact happened. Oh yeah, no, yeah, so you're yeah, here. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what? Yeah. I'm ending think, the stream. I think that's, I think that's my software and not the actual. Like, no, I'm, yeah. I'm ending the stream. I'll, I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, well, the low fireball is going to do it. King Gambler will take that first round. Bilal, got to close this gap a little bit with that katana for the low fan. Nice flawless block there from King Gambler. Wasn't able to flawless block that time. Oh, he tried to so jump hard. at him. Good grab tech from E. Bilal, 99. Hold on, who's King Gambler? I'm so fucking confused. What's going on here? Who's who? King Gambler is rocking the Liu Kang. Oh, okay, Bilal okay. Is rocking the katana. Now, now it's making sense. Done. King Gambler trying to push towards the corner, but here comes a punish off of the throw. I like that attempt there, and maybe the armor breaker. Law Dutra jumping, getting the kick. I am seeing a ton of Foxy Grandpa emotes in the chat, which is dope. That's what I like to see, baby. He's walking him down to the corner here. King Gambler. Oh, Eba Lau gonna tie things up. Dude, that is very promising, you know? Again, I. I... Abel is a name that I'm not too familiar with. So to see him going toe to toe against a player like King Gambler, that just goes to show he is ready to kick some ass here. Absolutely. Ooh, so he's whipping, now, dropping it. Can't drop combos, not now. Now when we're in week seven of Champions of the Realms 2, this is when every hit counts. You gotta make that top eight. You gotta win that top eight to get a piece of that, what? 
close to a $2,500 prize. Oh, we got to check. We definitely got to check. But it is getting kind of fucking crazy. And King Gambler going to close out game number one here. Going up 1-0 on Ibalan 99. Am I saying that shit wrong? I mean, I would be calling him Bilal. Bilal? Ibalal. Ibalal. What did you call me? I called you Ibalal. Alright guys, I have something to uh I got something to admit. It's me. I entered the tournament. Oh, that's why he's a little quiet in the commentary right now. <laughs> it all it all makes sense. Yo! By the way, I don't know if you guys know, but you know, just recently me and Caboose got partnered up with G Fuel. We both yes, have separate sir. codes, and if you guys want to support us with our codes, if you want to load up on some G Fuel, try it out. It's a great energy formula substance that just gets you very hyped. It makes you a fucking yes, god sir. at video games. You can either use code Caboose, or you can use code Combo with a K, and you'll be saving yourself some good money on your G, uh, G Fuel order. Speaking of Caboose, we gotta. I, I haven't tried out the uh, the Mortal Kombat G Fuel yet, man. Yeah, yeah. They. I, ooh. You know, I I tried the Sub Zero one. I haven't tried really? the Scorpion one though. I tried the Ice Shatter. Ice Shatter is pretty sick, but uh, but the Scorpions thing I haven't tried yet. Wow. Maybe we should change that. Yeah, I mean, I think we might have to fucking open, crap this shit open, try it on stream real quick. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Join the link real quick. Okay, let me chill. Let's watch the match. <laughs> oh, he goes to the down one into the low, the low fan. Nothing's there though. He's gonna hit him with the low. The mix-up's coming from Ibalal. Oh, slicing his stomach open, making sure there's no babies in there. Whoa, 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 Katana, relax. What the what? Fight. I don't know. I, I heard I heard Liu Kang was pregnant. I heard Goro got Liu Kang pregnant. That's what I heard. Goro got Liu Kang pregnant? That's what I heard. Oh my god. What the hell would that baby look like? Ooh, hit him with the plus range. E Bilal's gonna have to be very careful with this pressure right now coming out of King Gambler. Wow! The kick to the chin. Scariest things about Liu Kang since the inception of MK11. This has been a character that has had unbelievable pressure and the stagger tools this character has. He is so ridiculous to deal with. That forward four. Always so menacing. Oh, commit. This is big. This is huge for Ibalao. Could possibly close this out. One more opening into Fatal Blow or anything. Oh my God. Was able to block on time. This is so nerve wracking. Go for the mix up nice. and that's going to be the punish. Block. What a flawless block into the punish there from King Gambler. That's the tech right there. And that flawless block was like necessary if he wanted to close this out, huh? Yep. Yep. Son of a bitch. Oh, good. Gonna get the parry on the zoning. I'm loving this variation coming out of uh, Bilal. You can't get hit by a fan right now. That's just gonna hurt. Oh, I saw that was That's a chunk. That's gonna hurt. Dude, oh, oh my, my god. Look at the chin damage. What is this? Holy Yo! shit. Dude, that's why you got the fucking demons hiding behind oh, those those this gates. Is, this those bad. cages. Oh no! Yeah, oh, the donkey butt God. right to the face. Liu Kang might have been happy about that one if we're being honest. Wait, are you serious? Because if you look off the screen, he's got a, se a severe case of pink eye after that. <laughs> so <laughs> I think happy is not the right word there. I don't know, Liu Kang and Katana. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, but I definitely got to get a fucking fart on the soundboard for the next time. <laughs> the next time that crushing blow happens. <laughs> the next time that crushing blow happens, bro, everybody's going to hate me. They're going to hate the champions of the realms. It's going to give you a wet fart. <laughs> Another one's going to contact me and be like, yo, you got you to gotta end the series. I'm going to be like, well, I'm gonna say, why? I'm like, you got Katana shitting herself now. I'm like, guys, come on. Are you serious, Netherrealm? Come on. Holy shit. Ed Boon's going to show up to my front door with a grenade launcher. <laughs> I'm dead. Yo. He said, he said Ed 
Who's gonna throw up the grenade? Oh my god! You're gonna blow my house away! You're gonna blow the whole apartment! I'm gonna say, wait, 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 Yo, Iba Lao, I think he's aw he's awoken. He's awakened after that uh, that that game he just won. After he broke Liu Kang's face with the son of that? Yeah, I'd imagine. <laughs> with the shit butt, yes. <laughs> oh! That was sick! Wait, why didn't that crush? He had the counter down too! Oh my god, he below right now! <laughs> you woke the dragon. <laughs> I got, oh god, bro. Why you gotta say that oh. shit? Oh man. Yo, I can't breathe, bro. <laughs> he said with the shit butt. <laughs> <laughs> this should be crushing blow. Big crushing blow. <laughs> <laughs> nice low projectile there. The down two is gonna land for Bilal. Oh, nicely done with the flawless block up three. Invincibility frames. Oh, you gotta watch out for the shit, bud. Watch out. Oh, no. The law doesn't go for it. Oh, my God. Ebalal is in trouble here. I mean, he's in a good spot here. Kind of walking I mean, back. He's in a good spot, but you also know what this kind of positioning could mean. When you're he evil, oh, and that's exactly what it could mean. King Gambler was ready for any hit to land to immediately convert into that fatal blow. We'll do so and take this game going up 2 1 in the set now. Beautiful plays, no man. Shit, but that game. No shit, but that game. And looking at the flying kick, Luke Kane's not done yet. He said, you shit out of my face, you bitch. Yo, 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 this guy can't. Yo, security. These combatants are getting a little too violent. Jeez. Yo, these combatants are getting a little too violent. Get them in the match. Stop the fight. I don't know what's going on, bro. I'm a little nervous here. Shit butt here. I don't know what's going on here. A lot of shit, but I think that's what it is. This is only uh, game number three for game tonight, number. right? Good, bud. <laughs> Game number shit, but and remember we're gonna be getting the uh, the top eight is gonna be going down on The Friday on this Friday right here same place same time Also, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Aquaman. He's gonna be running a a Kotal gauntlet tomorrow on his channel Ooh. Yeah, so definitely write that on your calendar. I think he's gonna be throwing it down at 7 p.m. Eastern time zone so y'all get ready for that Kotal gauntlet. A lot of MK action underway for the weekend, so I hope you're all excited. You don't <laughs> Yo, you summon holographic Baraka. <laughs> Damn, King Gambler is like... Dude, he's looking hungry right now. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. This is easily the round. So oh. long as King Gambler can He drops it. He dropped it. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. I cursed it. Oh my god, he tries to go for the grab. Tries to open him up with the Yeah, exactly. He did try to open him up with that. You're absolutely right, Destroyer. Oh my god! Nice. Bro! Done. It's impossible to open up King Gambler at this point. I'm convinced. I pressure scenarios like that, even though it comes off of the heels of King Gambler dropping the combo. Still able to make sure he maintains and closes out the round. Gotta watch out for these fans. That hurts a lot. Oh my god. That one fan did like a thousand percent. <laughs> it does way too much damage. Nearing the 20% if I'm not mistaken. So much damage. God. Bilal is gonna have to try to keep this going if he wants to stay alive in this set. Keep those fans tossing, baby. And maybe throw in a shit butt here and there. Oh, everybody needs a shit butt every now and then. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh my god, King Gambler already closing the distance and he has fatal blow. That could be the end. Oh my god! He's dead. Wow, another robbery from King Gambler. Spanky, cut the music. Close this set out. Spanky, Spanky, cut the music, Spanky. He's dead. And he is indeed. Bilal will lose that set, unfortunately. Three to one against King Gambler.
who played extremely well with Liu Kang there and stole and stole two games off that fatal blow. My goodness. Wowzers. Wowzers indeed. Wowzers Just is right. Wowzers is all I got to say gotta, about that gotta one right agree there, man. on the Wowzers there, Destroyer. Very good stuff we, we're uh, witnessing here. Uh, we're going to be moving on to our next match, which is going to be a special one. I know you're going to definitely be excited for this one, Caboose. Oh, am I? <laughs> yes, you are. Why? Who, we got shit butt? Shit butt? <laughs> are they playing? It is going to be playing up next. <laughs> It's going to be Shibba versus uh, one of one of the special guests in the Champions of the Realm series. Somebody that a lot of you are familiar with. And the name goes with... Evolva! 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 No way. The legend returns. Try Evolva. Try I hate you guys with an ultra. Ultra Evolva combo right there. That's right. Oh, man. Evolva is back. This should be This should be exciting. I want to see the whole chat when when we get this game started. I want to see non-stop Evolvo. 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 Oh, I am not. No, sir, I am not. We've had some pretty intense matches so far for Champions of the Realms 2 season or week 7. Season. I was going to say season 7. Oh, holy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Get a little ahead of myself This there, is you know? uh, this is Caboose from the future. He thinks yeah, he's commentating. Seriously. Thinks he's commentating season seriously. 7 already. Jeez, season seven. <laughs> he comes through with a fucking robot eye. Imagine some shit like that. Oh a fucking God. Terminator I'm portal. Anal? No, you, you noise Terminator. Noise pit, noise pit, noise pit, noise pit attacker. Okay, does anybody remember the origin of Evolvo? Was that because you spelt the the name wrong in the top? Like you put Evolvo instead of Eva Love? I think. Or Evo, I think that's. Evol oh, that's, it is Evolvo. That's no, what it should. It's just Evolvo. <laughs> it's Evolvo. That's not Evolvo, bro. What are you? What are you? It's, you it's, losing it's your mind? Evolvo. Are you losing your Evolvo mind right now? Facing off against Guillotine. Here we go. His, name, his name's Evolvo. I see a Robocop facing off against this Kung Lao. This should be interesting. Oh shit! Guillotine playing the Robocop. That's dangerous stuff. Yo, wasn't I talking about the Golden Leche bottle? You are not a rookie. You was there a Golden Leche bottle? <laughs> Oh, is that him? <laughs> this is it right here. That, that's Robocop. Yeah, he completed his journey to Mount Everest. Yeah, As you can see, that what happened to his armor was kind of the battle along the way. And look, I got a prediction, man. We're going to be seeing a lot of Murphy oil spilled on the screen today. I got a prediction. We're going to see a lot of Evolvo. Oh, shit. Very good pressure. He's going to go with a down two. Trying to go with the flame burner, but a teleport from Evolvo. Evolvo. I wonder if everyone just voted for Evolvo in the channel points because it's Evolvo. I am actually curious. Evolvo! 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 Yeah. Who the hell was that? A lot of votes are going for Evolvo right now, bro. A lot of them. Damn, look at this pick up here! Evolvo He's got guillotine in the corner! Well. He really is with his hat up and lets it rip off the gunshots? Dude, that's kind of fucked up. I don't know. That's a hardcore no setup right there. No way. No way. That's a hardcore setup right there, bro. It's a hardcore setup indeed. Nice jump in there from the Volvo. Good use of the uh, the sniper. Gonna send the Volvo full screen. This is where Robocop is at his most comfortable. Let's talk about Premier Zoners. Looking really good. He still has that hat just holding straight in his face. Does not want to move away from this place. Gonna pull out the 50 cow, trying to gain some distance. And the low auto nine. Beautiful read from Guillotine. Dude, I don't know what it is about Robocop. He may be a fucking zone fest, but he's hyped. He's hyped to me. Oh shit. Gonna get the grab tech. Good stuff. Oh, that's gonna be a punish off of the dive kick. Good stuff there from Guillotine. Are under arrest. Go for the hat, the hat's still tracking. Nice, he does a sniper there. 
Be a team gonna continue the zoning. Evolvo gotta try and close the gap. Will have the corner advantage if he's able to. Uses the dive kick to close the distance. Wasn't even trying to get a hit off of it. Stuff. Evolvo just about tied on the life bar. That's a punish oh, there. Oh god, this is absolutely insanity. He's gonna throw the hat straight to his chest. Just trying to throw the flame burner to keep some distance. This is any man's game here. Evolvo versus Guillotine. He flies right into the hat and he's gonna take it. Evolvo. Up 1 0. Godlike stuff. I wanna see non stop. Evolvo. Evolvo. No, 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 no. I think that's not fair. That's not right. We gotta see some guillotines too. We gotta see some guillotines too. We gotta see some guillotines too, bro. This is like 100 people versus fucking one man right now. Chill. Evolvo. Could you imagine Guillotine's perspective? He's like fighting in this tournament, like, oh my god. He said, they're everywhere. He said, Evolvo, they're everywhere. There's like probably fucking 20 Evolvos just latching onto his foot right now. Guillotine is getting swarmed. Guillotine, fight! Yo, you know what? I'm sending a couple Jerex to help him out. Yo, Jerex, roll out. Jerex. <laughs> wait, wait. You're gonna send the, the army of Jerex? Yeah, they're going one by one. At this point, you think he changes his name to? I sent about eight, eight, ten Jerex to his crib. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This guy's fucked. <laughs> oh, you're. <laughs> 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 if Evolvo lives with his parents, all I'm saying is they're gonna be lost. <laughs> and, and you gotta picture it like they're they're in their 2D form so. <laughs> very good, very good jump three. Evolvo right now, he's gonna throw a haspin just for the fuck of it. Big He's gonna get a crush off of that one. What the hell? Oh my goodness. Evolvo just going for the fatal blow. Doesn't have the defensive meter. Gets caught by the low projectile. That'll be the game. Go or the round, sorry. Go into guillotine. Fight. Oh, already getting the hat in play. Tries to go for the low. Beautiful man. Coming from downtown with the hair flip. That shit is looking clean. Another good scream coming in. He's gonna get the crushing blow. 27%. This is looking like all guillotine here. This switch to the Sindel is proven. Oh! I don't know what the fuck is happening. No! If oh Yo, if he bubble makes his comeback. Oh, the punish. Oh, and the brutal. Oh my, oh my. Evo, 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 Evo. <laughs> Each slam and Evolvo came out. You heard that, guys? That, that was Kung Lao. What do you mean? <laughs> I know. I, I, I saw. I heard it. This man was just fucking slamming the Evolvos out of him. Holy oh cow. God. That was an absolute catastrophe if I've ever seen one. Good stuff, though, from Guillotine. Really played well with that Sindel switch against Evolvo's Kung Lao. Does Evolvo switch or is he... Is, is, the last time we saw Evolvo, was he just a rider at Kung Lao or what? Sindel. What was that? The, the 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 last time we saw Evolvo, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, was he only playing Kung Lao or did he have some other characters up his sleeve? And it looks like he's gonna be switching over. Yeah. To the um. <laughs> I'm kind of getting like uh, flashbacks here, minor flashbacks. Uh, Evolvo switch going for the Shang Tsung pick kind of just brought me back to reality. I think he kind of made his debut in this tournament with Shang Tsung. Did he? Yeah. Does anyone remember? Who in chat remembers the origin story of Evolvo? Do we have any uh, Evolvo connoisseurs? <laughs> <laughs> we never could trust Quan Oh, somebody says they remember him as a new player. He was noob cyber. Holy shit, man. These guys know the champions of the realm lore. That's crazy. Oh, he was Layenda. So Layenda Carnage is his height? Oh my god. Wait. Evolvo is Layenda Carnage? I don't even know what's Evolvo happening Carnage? anymore. 
Ooh, he's gonna hit him with the low, the low scream. Another one, the reversal oh, punish. That's, that's gonna be a backbreaker. This man's been snapping spines this whole set. And yo, dude, like, I think Sindel is one strong ass fucking character in this game. Like her tool set really just plays perfect below. Evolvo, catch her out of the air. He said, yeah, bitch, Evolvo. Very nice, another one. Evolvo really turning up here. He's gonna go for the forward two four. He's gonna open it up. That's not the crush. Should have used the Ermac lift. I'm not sure what happened there. That could have been the round. Evolvo probably didn't think it was gonna happen. He probably thought crushing blow was gonna happen. I don't know. Probably up Dude. The Evolvo. Oh my God! Watch the jump in. The and the chip will do it all. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that's such a sick mid round time. That was sick, bro. Hashtag where's reptile. Hashtag Sorry. Evolvo. At hashtag who's Evolvo? Nice Ooh. throw. Oh, he tries to hit him with the low. Not gonna happen though. Evolvo already put, uh, really putting on this pressure here. Tagging her out of the hair flip. That was fucking sick. Good slam. A little standing one into the down two. Kind of guaranteeing damage here. Oh, if he held on to the smoke carrier for just a second longer, he would have gotten the punish. Awesome. Look at these staggers. Look at these staggers. Evolvo clearly making use of the character swing. Com committing to the full strength. Guillotine got to find something now. We'll get a little thing going with the overhead. Went for the oh, upside scream. Ballsy. That's a punish. Evolvo. Damn, splitting the Toto right down the middle. Evolvo really taking no prisoners here. Showing no mercy. And then going to turn into Sendel. And he's going to go. Evolvo. Or that. Holy, holy smokes! Now, now you gotta wonder, destroy. I'll throw it to you. I want to know your thoughts here. Does does Guillotine switch off of the Sindel? Is this does this become a counter pick war, or is he is he gonna stick with the Sindel? Dude, I don't know, man. That Sindel was looking really good for him. For him to switch off the Sindel, it's gonna get me worried. I gotta be honest. But it looks like he's gonna go with the Frost. Throwing everything out the window here. He said, you know what, Evolvo? He said, you know what, Evolvo? I'm gonna fucking wait. This shit look like Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. What is this Frost costume? I don't think I've ever seen this before. This dude straight up brought out Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. I cannot believe what we're witnessing right now. I can't believe it either, Destroyer. This is going to be insane. I'm seeing a Frost? in Champions of the Realms 2? This is an Evolvo if I've ever seen one. Oh yeah, gonna put the arm back in place. Your enhancements are impressive. Yo, yeah, you're right about that, bro. We rarely see this character in the Champions of the Realms. You are so if right ever. about that, bro. If, if ever. ever. Let's see what happens here, though. Evolvo up 2-1 to one on Guillotine. What's gonna happen? Guillotine kind of just zoning out here. I kind of feel like that's going to be the go-to game plan, you know? Being down 2-1 against a player like Evolvo, that is something scary to be going up against here. Trying to pop him. Shooting a lot of zoning projectiles. What is going to happen? Evolvo just waiting for the perfect opportunity. Evolvo. And, and honestly, he doesn't have to get too aggressive. I was just about to say he had the life lead, but just as I said that, Guillotine going to get some damage on the table here. Shutting down the, the roundhouse kick. Smart stuff from Guillotine. Want to go with that axe pick. Keeping him down on the ground. This pressure from Guillotine right now. I gotta say, I know people have their opinions about Frost. And it's a character that you don't see a lot of. Man, this is a character that is a lot of fun to watch. She is a super cool character. At least in my opinion. Another throw. Gonna get some life back off of that. Gonna so get some forward throw. The short hop is gonna land for Evolvo. Went for the Ermac lift. Ooh, sits him down. Ooh, this is a punish. No, no punish. Just opportunity there. Not a lot of time left on the clock, and the life bars are so close. The throw gonna connect for Guillotine. Has the corner advantage as well. We may be going to a game five destroyer if Guillotine keeps this up with Frost. Yo, we may be going to a Shibin and Pipo. Trying to catch him with the phase, and there we go. A crushing blow, breaking Frost's back. 
Yo, Evolvo is actually a sick ass player. Oh, I gotta no say. Yeah, seriously, Evolvo is solid. Oh the anti air Ermac lift. Evolvo. Evolvo. Nice throw. Oh, the flawless round? <laughs> oh, what? Hold Commentator's on. curse. Really Commentator's curse. Hold on. Guillotine's gonna come As soon as he said, is this a flawless round? This man what, jumped what? into a fatal blow. This is a risky fatal blow. It's from tough. Guillotine. I feel like this was just everything on the, t and the table here. He's gonna try to make the ultimate comeback. If he makes it happen, I'm jumping out the window. And I'm gonna start flying like a bird. Uh, I don't Whoa. know what the hell's about to happen oh my god, here. He went for the fly. Wait, oh my god. This could happen. Oh my god. Wait, he didn't have meter. Oh, oh my god. No. Oh, oh. It's over. He's gotta break it's away. Over. He went for the down. He should've just went for the down two. He should've just went for the down two. Oh my god. No punish. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god. Why did he not go for the down two? Holy shit. What was that? He literally had to jump in down to Destroyer and the game would have been over. We would have been going to a game five. Ah. Ah. Oh my God, ah. that could be a costly mistake for Guillotine. Although Guillotine right now is keeping up the zoning from full screen. Oh, the slide to get in off he the projectile. Off the That's a punish. Oh Lord, he drops Ooh, a combo. Drops. Yo, this is so close. Guillotine is down one game here. If he can take this, he can tie things up and stay to live to fight again. Risky. That was so crazy. Oh my God. That could have been a punish. Oh, wow, oh, I can't shit. believe you went for that. That was insane. <laughs> Yo, he fucking roundhouse her out of the screen. Guillotine has a little bit of life here to work with. He cannot let Evobo get a conversion into Fatal Blow. He can't. Oh he my cannot. God. The balls on Guillotine. So cojones. Bro, nice. I'm I got my eyes closed. Let me know what happens. Is That's he it. dead? It's over. He dropped the fatal blow. What is happening? Oh my god! Oh my god! Evolvo had it. Evolvo had it. Guillotine. Guillotine. By just a sheer miracle, was able to close that out. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I don't know how, listen, we just gotta shut the fuck up when these matches go down to the wire. Because, I, uh, I, I, you, know, you, seriously. you already you crashed him twice. That's I remember, my fault. I was the reason last time we had a player getting screwed over. Caboose is the reason this time. That's it. I'm dropping the mic. Oh That's my god, there was, two, there was like 14 instances there where, where <laughs> each player could have closed out the game like 10 seconds earlier. Dude. And instead it just ended up being this absolute mess of <laughs> What the hell happened? I don't know, but I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I gotta leave. <laughs> no, I bet a lot of people are stressed after that. After what we just witnessed there, it could have been all over. But Guillotine is gonna bring us to the final game. We are gonna be going to a game number three. I mean, hey, I guess this is paying tribute to what went down uh, last week, you know? The Champions of the Realms uh, speed run in pool play. I guess so. But wait, like, wait, 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 but wait. Like, what happened there? Wait, dude. What? Yo. Robocop? Guillotine. Again? Wasn't Guillotine playing Robocop first? What the fuck? Wasn't that? Guillotine playing Robocop first? I, th I think. I don't. I, chat. I gotta go, guys. We need I confirmation. Gotta go. I gotta go, chat. Dude, this is so bizarre. Very. Very bizarre. Round <laughs> somebody, Very bizarre. Somebody in the chat said, we all play Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> that explains everything. It all makes sense now. Yeah. Oh my god! What is going on here? Dude, just exploding her with a 50 cal crushing blow out of nowhere. I was not ready for that. Wait a second though. Guillotine kind of forced to stick with this frost. He's got to make something happen here. Final game for both these players. It's crazy. This ended up really becoming a counter trick war, didn't it? I guess so. I mean, but Robocop, like... When the hell does he kind of pick anything? <laughs> That's true. Plus, I feel like if Ross plays it smart, she can kind of get around him. And, like, Robocop versus Frost's normals, good luck. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna just give him a very hard time. Honestly, Volvo is just gonna have to... He's gonna have to rely on his on his zoning tools here. And his Volvo. And his staggers. And his Volvo. Oh, he catches him! That was a crazy opening, the command grab! Nice oh my god, grab. Evolvo. Damn, that did so much damage! Oh, oh my yeah, lord. Command grab. command grab, base command grab does quite a bit of damage. Good Round stuff two. there from Evolvo. Gonna that was not. To try to close things out. Match point out with this Robocop, with Sector Robocop. Bro, the Sector is this bootleg Sector. 
Now, when are we gonna get the actual star in this game, huh? Huh? I mean, right, we got, listen, we have some incredible character renders for them already, so Netherrealm, all they have to do is just put a move set, a tool set in them, and they're good to go. Exactly. The low shot. This is really tough for Guillotine right now, who's getting destroyed right now by the zoning. He really he is. The gap. That's crazy that Evolvo is the one who's closing the gap. Yo, we've point. seen Guillotine make this comeback situation I'm before. Yeah, I'm you know what? Talk. Let's just give him a moment of silence, see if he can do this. <laughs> oh! Evolvo! Nice throw. It's not over yet. That's a back throw, though. It's not that over yet, bro. A little bit of space for Evolvo. That could have been dead. That's a GG. Just throw, and that'll be it. Oh, God. Oh, she's all right. She's, Damn! Oh, 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 oh no, she'll be okay. She'll he be said, okay. I she'll... am the only robot here, bitch. Oh. Oh, my God. Enough. Has she, has she not had enough, dude? Evolvo's really Evolvo going a little too hard here. What a brutality. He's going Evolvo right now. He is Evolvoing. And then look at that. He's going to charge up for the next match. Evolvo is already getting ready for round the next game, bro. For his next opponent. Very good stuff from Evolvo. I mean, that was a great performance right there. Coming out of him using the uh, Robocop. Yes, sir, indeed. That was such an intense set. A, a big back and forth and a lot of character switches on both sides of the entirety of that set to the point where we couldn't even remember who was playing Robocop from the beginning of it. Yeah. Um, ridiculous stuff. Congrats to Evolvo. Moving Seriously, on. Seriously, A lot man. of Evolvos in the chat. Evolvo's in the chat. Dude, everybody's going to be writing Evolvo for like the next 10 minutes because this dude just... <laughs> Not only did he win a bunch of people channel points, he's kind of like, <laughs> like the stream's hero right now, you know? Yeah, he is. He is. He's the legend <laughs> to Champions of the Realms. Oh Absolutely. my God! Speaking of the legend, I think we gotta do just out of out of the Champions of the Realms one of these days. Me and you gotta get huh? together and we gotta run Leyenda Carnage versus Evolvo. Versus Evolvo. First and yeah, ten. First to five. First to ten or first something. First and five. First to ten. Whatever. But we gotta get that popping, bro. I'd be super down for that. You know what else I'd be down for, Destroyer? Tell me. I got some. Uh, I got some Mortal Kombat G fuel here. Oh shit. I kind of be wanting to try it on stream. I tried the Ice Shatter Sub-Zero. I Hold haven't on. tried Scorpion's Hold thing. Hold on. Let me, let, me, uh, let me grab my thing real quick next to my, I kinda be wanting my to Scorpion try it. collector head. Let me grab this. You know? So you know? Wh which one are you going to yeah. go ahead and, and you're going to give a try here, huh? I'm giving Scorpion's thing a try. I'm going for Scorpion's thing. All right. So listen, also, I want to give a huge shout out to G Fuel for even sending this stuff over, man, because, you know, this was very hard to get. I got to say, we've been promoting the, the G Fuel flavors, but bro, do these things sell out so damn fast? Yeah. But there's you know, still some stuff that you can grab, by the yes. way. You can still grab Scorpion Sting or Ice Shatter Sub Zero. No, we're not doing dry right. scoop. We're not doing dry. We're pouring oh, this God, shit. No. I got a cup right here. Check this out. The G Fuel Shaker as well. Dude, look how clean this is. I don't know if you got your Scorpion Shaker, oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. look how clean shaker. this is. I got my listen, shaker. you need. I got my shaker. Listen, you drink any of your drinks out of this Shaker cup right here. We about to get popping. We got the water locked and loaded. Caboose is about to give the uh, the Scorpion Sting a try. Yeah. Let's, let's go ahead. Let's. Uh, you let's, going in? You going in? I'm gonna put some powder in. Hold on. Let me let me put okay. some. Some, let, me, some, let, me, let me do some of mine too. The flavor is straight out of the nether realm. It's about to go down. Go. The grand opening. Look at this. The grand opening. I'm this nervous. Is, this is no joke. The first time I'm trying Scorpion Snake. I tried the I tried Ice Shatter Sub Zero last night, and that that shit hit it. Ooh, bro. But yo, you, what code should they use if they're gonna get some G Fuel right now? Ooh, what this has a, gonna, a, a, a very a very nice a very nice fruity uh, smell to it a nice oh, yeah, yeah, a yeah. nice blue raspberry smell yeah, to yeah, it yeah 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 hold on let me just get this uh, made for you guys real fast I got my water in hold on dude I actually have to dig in for the uh, the little scooper oh yeah 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 I, that's what I had to do you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, all right. This is this is getting crazy. This is getting sure, crazy. Yeah. I'm putting a full. Man. I'm putting. I'm putting a full dose. I haven't put it in. I got G fuel all, all, all over my tables. I, I literally got G fuel everywhere. I got. I spilled G fuel everywhere. Oh my god. Lay in the carnage. I spilled some lay in the carnage everywhere. I got. I got to get all it all in there. Just a little bit more. Let's get that in there. It's got okay. a nice, a nice amount in here, you know. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna taste the flavors of the Nether Realm. Full dosage, yo. All I'm saying, 
Caboose, if I drink this and I turn into fucking Sub Zero, yeah, I'm gonna what lose my gonna mind. Do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna lose my mind. You're gonna lose your lay at the carnage. I'm gonna turn into lay right. in the carnage. All right, I got mine ready. All right. Again, guys, use code Caboose if you guys want to give this uh, these flavors a try, or code or Combo with a K. Code Caboose or code Combo with a K. Right now, live on stream in the Champions of the Realm. Shout out to G Fuel again for hooking it up. You know, we are partnered with them, and it's just a blessing to be partnered with, with such a great brand. And here we go, man. You got yours ready? Dude, you, you ready, Caboose? I'm ready to go. Let's go for it. Should we taste it? I'm going in. Right. I'm going in. All right. Cheers. Toast. Oh my God, Caboose. You feeling that? Oh my God. Bro. Bro, what is happening right now? What are you yelling at? Ladies and gentlemen, to Champions of the Realms 2, week 7. We've already brought you guys some pretty crazy action so far. And we're back. Destroyer, I don't know. Do you, do you remember what happened after we tried this G Fuel? I, Dude, I oh, I honestly, pretty, first off, sick. yo, first off, I want to say sick. Ice Shatter Flavor. I haven't tried the Scorpion Sting, but right off the bat, Ice uh, Shatter Flavor is fucking incredible. This flavor is I, yeah. badass. Also, I love the liquid. Like, once you shake it up, it kind of has like an icy, an icy look to yeah. it. Yeah. It's it's awesome, man. The the, the I was way... just about to say same thing for the scorpion one. Like in the scorpion, cup, it looks like it's flames. It looks sick. I see. It looks yeah, sick. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. They 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 kept the themes real similar to it. So uh, very good job, man. Yeah. Very good yeah, yeah, yeah. good tasting uh, G like fuel flavors right I, there. I tried the ice shatter yesterday. I really like the ice shatter. Scorpion's thing is super solid too. Would recommend. And if you're trying to get some yourself, use code Caboose or use code Combo with a K. Yes, sir. And it looks like our next match is going to be underway shortly here. We got DJT going up against Islands Herbs. This should be very interesting. Uh, I'm not too sure if DJT is checked in. Let me go ahead and check real fast. Make sure he is competing today. Oh, he is? Okay, so is maybe... He? Okay. Maybe he's... Uh, let me send him another invite. If anybody can get in contact with DJT... Please do so. Let him know his match is up and ready. DJ Team Huh? This should be a good what one. DJT. DJT, if I remember correctly, was rocking Spawn, right? Oh, yo. Last week, right? He was rocking the Spawn. And I got to say, man, he had a lot of sick tech with the character. Especially, also, I think he was playing against a Jackie Briggs player. And he had this tech where every time Jackie would leap... He would try to catch him with the standing three on the crossover yeah. of the leap. It wasn't yep. too successful most of the time. I think it's something that requires a lot of precision. Maybe like, you know, an offline setting. I don't know what the case may be. But he was fucking wreaking havoc with that spawn for sure. So we got word from Mary Luna that he is checked in. So he should be there present. He he's in. He's in. He's oh, in. he's in? Yep. Perfect. Just join. Just join the lobby. We got both the players loaded up progressing here in this bracket already had some really intense matches i'm looking at the bracket too we got some heavy hitters the top 16 matches tonight should be really insane yeah dude and you already know that top 16 match is just going to be a little reflection of what the top Wait. eight is going to be looking like Ooh, dj rain rocking the rain no facing way. Off against. can anyone stop me can anyone, no way can anyone stop me no way can anyone stop me 
Yo, what did everyone think of the uh, the Champions of the Realms theme song from last week? Oh, that's right. Huge shout out to Fragrance what Journey. What did everyone think? You guys will be getting to hear it again later on at the end of this stream. So you slow. better stick around. Too you better slow. stick around. Ballin. Can anyone stop me? Got the spins. You don't. You don't. You don't impress me. You got this. Got it's the. Got, got. Got. Got the spins. It's a pop. Round one. Do you bump to it every day? Every day you wake up? Every day that I wake up. Every day that I wake up is the first thing I hear, and every time when I go to bed is the last thing I hear. Holy shit. This man's real Angel serious said, about that Angel song. Angel said the soundtrack was 41% one bar. Wow! That's that's the highest praise anybody could receive about anything. Very good low. Trying to keep this pressure on lockdown right now. DJT showing a lot of promise here with this rain pick. I don't think we saw this character coming out of him uh, last week, right? I don't believe so. It was, just, be uh, it was just spawning in, uh, I think, Johnny Cage, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. I think so. I think so. I remember very specifically the spawn. So Ooh. it may have been someone that he was working on throughout the week. But right now, it looks like Herbs is going to make a bit of a comeback. Has the fatal blow. Gets the throw after shimmying for a little bit. That was sick. Intimidation tactic. Amplified projectile. Oh, my Gets God. By the Amplified Qatar. Keeping this pressure on lockdown and the knockdown coming from Herbs. Very good stuff right there. DJT says, I don't need your herbs and spices. <laughs> I don't think it's about the herbs and spices. I think this guy's talking about the, the marijuana herbs. What? Huh? Sorry, sorry. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, the gas leap out of nowhere. I didn't even know he had that, that move set in this variation. Oh, got to catch the crushing blow. DJT is in trouble. Oh, not going to break away. Like yeah, that was a smart, smart read right there from DJT to not break away. What the hell? Is that a low? I, I don't know. Nice usage of the water move there. Some rain didn't hold on to it, so he got caught with a projectile. But he's avoiding any sort of chip damage that can come his way. Not having to worry about any amplification or anything like that. This is gonna be scary though, and yep, Herbs is gonna go for the armor breaker. That's that's one of the things about this character, Cabal. He has such a good armor breaker that you're always sitting there scared to break away against any combo the character lands. Seriously. Can anyone stop me? Got the spins, got 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 the got the Oh chill, yo, Cabal. Do that somewhere else, you fucking pig. Oh, gonna catch him with the air. Uh what is those things called? The air, what are you, what is those things called? What a move. <laughs> mm. Knocking him out of the air out of nowhere. Wow, DJT really trying to stay in the fight. I mean, they are tied one round apiece here. Herbs could have caught him with a nasty back one whiff punish, but instead, he goes for the throw. Very nice. He's gonna bob him in the head. Dude, this match is getting way too heated. Both these life bars are kind of evened out here. Never mind, Herb's gonna change that. That pressure's, oh! Wow. Herb's is ready for it. Oh I think my goodness, empty jump into the back throw. Is that crush? No, okay. Bro, DJT is gonna have to, oh my Ooh. God. Smart, smart. Gotta convert immediately into the fatal blow. Close that life lead. Now all you need is like one little combo to close out this game. Let's see what happens here. He's gonna dash in, dash out. What an so answer! DJT needs one more touch here! Both these players need one more touch! DJT. Holy shit! Oh, Another the throw! No way. Escape failed! Herbs. DJT tried to tech it. He tried to tech it, but he just guessed the wrong way. And Herbs and Spices <laughs> is gonna be sitting here Herbs taunting. Herbs is flying! He's, He's taunting and just taunting? hopping all over the screen. This man said, that's said, right. He said, I'm Jackie's. Can anyone stop me? Got the spins. He said, listen, I learned from Jackie Briggs how to leap all over the place. Is it you mind? You think DJT is going to be making a character switch to spawn? Potentially uh, the Johnny Cage? I, I wonder. I would like to see it. So I guess we'll see. Yo, okay, hold on. This, this Scorpius thing is hidden. Yeah, dude, I'm feeling the same way about this uh, ice shadow. I'm gonna just pour this shit on top of my head. <laughs> pour it into my eyes. I don't know. Huh?
People right. really want to see Big Caboose today. Big Caboose? No, that was an exclusive for week six. If you want to see Big Caboose, you got to go to week six. Going into game number two here, Herbs. Spices. Herbs and Spices taking the first one. Let's see what happens here. Already kind of just zoning out. Keeping things calm, calm and steady. Good grab from DJT. That's a sick ass move right there. Gonna try to get close some distance with the kicks. The little water splash to the toes. Another one, bro. That move, is that a mid or high? I need to know. Uh, I think it ends up there. The mind games, just the way he's able to... Oh! oh trying to catch him with the anti-air, but his zoning option was just kind of defensive. Good overhead, oh, DJT. Really just putting out a ass whooping here. Wow! Gave him more Come water on, to the face right there for that Anton. Round two, fight. Okay, leaping all over the place. DJT playing very, very patient right now. Okay. Oh, I think there's a flawless block attempt. There's a flawless block. Herb doing a really good job with that. Nice. Well, connect. The ball in. <laughs> the back and forth throws between these players have been outrageous. They're kind of just like, you know what? You want to block all day? Hold this fucking throw mix up then, bitch. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, the jump back throws it right at his face. This is getting way too crazy. DJT does have the life deficit. Like yeah, and look at that. They're really getting tricky with it. You know, even though he, he has his back to the corner, he decided to throw him forward instead of backwards. Smart stuff from Herbs. Nice. From Mosquito Man. Big four connects with the overhead. DJT trying to close this out, although. With the time running down and Herb having the life lead, Herb's just gonna back up, play a bit of this zoning game, let that clock run out. Ooh, but the guitar toss lands. This puts DJT in a decent position to try and even out those life bars. Oh He's gonna get the neutral jump punish. Oh, oh, this is looking throw. impossible. Whoa! Oh! That was actually insane. Don't. He's gonna Herb put the life bars at the end here. Bro. Herb baits the anti air attempt oh, and goes for the fatal blow punish. Five seconds, he has a life lead, Caboose. He has a life lead. Five seconds. seconds, four, three. He tries to zone him out. Two. He gets a ah! throw. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. All right. I just oh want to say god. if that was anyone else's throw, I think DJT would have lost. Why is that throw so fast? It did the damage oh literally in the, in, the, in the blink of an eye. If, if, if the timer could go into the milliseconds, I promise you there was like 0.2 milliseconds left before that throw fully connected to let DJT win the game. Bro, that was nuts. That was nuts. You know what that was? Nuts. I need you to heal. That was fucking nuts, bro. Thank you, Dodo. You saw that? that? Shit was nuts. Sorry, I'm losing my mind, bro. I, I, I think I, I need more G fuel as well. I can't believe what we just witnessed. DJT, with with one second left, gets the throw to land. We're all tied up one to one. We got ourselves a set. Play in that kind of match. <laughs> All right, yo, this pressure right now coming out of rain that kind of look like some smoke strings from uh, MKX. Very cool. Playing the footsies, gonna catch him with a throw. Too slow. Oh my god, they try to hit him with a leap. Wait a second. Another good throw coming out of Herbs. I mean, DJT, sorry. You better get it right next time. <laughs> I got security breathing down my neck already, bro. I can't fuck up one time. <laughs> Relax, get away from me, bro. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he opens him up. He's got to be careful, man. He's already established that, that, you know, he's not afraid to throw these fucking nomad dashes when he needs to. 
DJT cannot afford to get to another situation like that, tied one apiece. Wait, aren't you think the ball? You know, we're so used to seeing Kerbalicious and all the insane combos, 41% one bar, you know, but here we are with Herbs Cabal, and it's a, it's a lot more reserved, a lot more zone heavy. Yes. And maybe that's just a testament to kind of the matchup that he's in. He's trying to play that way on purpose. But oh my look God. at the timer as it's running down. Oh, he got the oh jump Lord. in and the throw. Eight seconds left. This throw lasts quite a bit. So while Five Thornberry seconds. is, he's going to get the flawless block into the kicks. Oh, oh my God. Right oh my God. Got him. Again. 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 Second Again. match. Again. Again, DJT. Holy shit. There's no way this is happening. <laughs> this is insanity. This is the legacy of the fucking one second match here. Okay, and now Herb's looking like he's getting a little more aggressive. He knows that he cannot play this slow paced game. DJT is too prone to the robbery. I know. I mean, twice robberies from DJT? Herb's is probably fucking. He's got cocky butt. 100%. Oh, a thousand percent. He's wow! Got butt. The, the water didn't hit him out of the air. That was weird. I actually saw it on the screen. That was a weird scenario right there. He's going to go for the double down one. This guy's getting real sneaky here. Did you see teabag in the middle of the game? Was that I, a teabag or was he just looking for a low? I think it's just, you know, such a fast paced set. Oh, good grab tech. Can I get the jump in? The standing one. DJT is in trouble here. What is back to the corner? Watch the read. Another throw. Ticking Bro. down, less than 30 seconds left in this oh! round, and the jump back gets punished by a fatal blow. Herb will tie up the round. Yo, it's like that. This character cabal, when he has fatal blow locked and loaded, you gotta be extra, extra careful with your next step. Because if you make the wrong move, you're gonna be too slow. Can anyone? Can anyone? Can anyone? Can anyone stop me? Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed. Can anyone fucking stop me? Oh, yo, 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 shit. Come, come on, calm he's down. Right. Come on, calm down, bro. You're getting so angry about Calm me. down. Ah. The last thing you want to do is get aggravated during a set, you know, because then you're going to be playing weird. That's just my two cents. <laughs> That's nice like guitar toss. DJT staying in this. Really wants to close this out. DJ Spanky Doodle, you said? DJ Spanky Doodle. Ooh, the guitar. T oh my god, twice in a row gonna connect successfully. DJT right now gonna catch an opening. Going with the restand option. This is a lot of pressure. Herbs is in trouble here. The wake up three. Oh no. Is that crush? It is not. What? Holy oh, my projectile. Oh no, he got the down one. That shit! No, it's not! Oh, and the down one will do it. It looks like rain can stop him. Wait, was that 3 0? I mean, 3 1. Was that 3 1? No, I think that was 2 1. Chat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Chat, right. chat, chat. I think he stole, he stole that last game. Do you know what the thing is? They're, 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 they're literally going down to the one second. You know? Can anyone stop me? They're going down to one second left. Can, I, can so. anyone stop? Can anyone stop me? Can anyone stop me? Hello? What would happen? No, I want, let me talk to Cabal. Come back. I want to say something to you real quick. You too piece slow. of shit. Too, too slow. Can anyone stop me? I got you're a question, Cabal. Why, why are you coming in here and you're, you're not hooked. focusing on the match, huh? You're hooked. Why don't you just focus on the damn match and get out of here? You're hooked. You're hooked. He's out of his mind. You know, we've been missing a lot of leche bottles the past couple weeks, and I honestly mm -hmm. think it's fucking Cabal. He's sneaking in and he's taking them all, man. He is kind of Cabaling. He's taking them all. Going into a potential final game here, DJT up 2-1 to one against the Mosquito Man, a.k.a. Herbs. Yo, you saw that mix-up? He fucking leaped, tried to go to the other side. That was so sick, man. This go ball variation. Look at that! Wow! Yeah, the leap is seriously one of the best things that this character has in his arsenal. That's a lot of uh, a lot of confusion. 
on the table when you when you're going up against it. For sure. Tries to get nice the jump in. Block. That was a beautiful flawless block right there. You are damn right about that. Good punish. He's gonna get him. Get him, bro. DJT is on the offense here. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of lying here. He's backing up, which is not a bad idea. Kind of want to keep that distance against a character like Cabal, because he hits for so much damage. I mean, he's kind of the one that originated the 41% one bar. 41% you know? one bar, indeed. He's the originator. He, he started the challenge, you know? Oh, nice man, idea. I think Herb's got to be careful with these. Oh, he has been, 100%. And Herb's got to be careful jumping in on him because he's getting a little too uh, carried away. Nice, bro. Caboose, this is it, bro. There's oh, my God, two throws in a row. But a fatal two blow will do it. A fatal blow will do it if he lands a hit. But DJT, of course, just not going to let go of block. Not a single thing that Herb's <laughs> can do. Going to lose that round. This is tough. Herb, he's got to be really careful on the zone-heavy game that he's playing because DJT has just about come out, come out on top every single time. Oh, catching that little short hop or jump uh, DJ Herb just did. DJT's really feeling it here. Match point. Just needs one more round to close this out and move on. Champs of the Rome Season 2, Week 7. JT maintaining, just holding on. Oh, that actually, I realized as well that it that has to be a low because that's a little bit of a 50 50. Right? That has to be a carne asada. The one, the one Very good. Yeah, Somebody's yeah, gonna yeah, get the exactly, throw. Yeah. This is big carne stuff. This, yo, honestly, dude, Herbs needs to just throw everything out the window and just go on a full on onslaught here. Gotta channel his inner Kerbo at this point. 100%. There is no more room for zoning, no more room for the full oh, speed no. game. Bad. Oh, he's dead. The life lead oh, alive. continues to be increased. Oh, tried to get the anti-air, but gets caught by a back throw. Herb has an opportunity. Otherwise, DJT could run away with this. He tried to go for the fatal blow, but Herb is not going to be able to land it. And DJT takes the set three to one. Can anyone stop me? Oh, wait. Rain, stop me. Yeah, Rain is going to give this man the thunderstorm of a lifetime here. GG's. DJT gonna be advancing, man. Very good stuff. Oh my god. Up next, we got a really good set, Caboose. I don't think you're ready for it. Oh, I'm not? No, I don't think anybody's ready for this one. Is Evolvo coming back? Uh, no, Evolvo's not coming back. I actually gotta check the bracket to see where he's at. But this next set, we got Deadly Rebel going up against Burrito Ooh. Voorhees. Yo. Now, I know a lot of people say, hey, man, where's the bracket? Where do I catch the action? Exclamation point bracket. You can check it out. If you hit exclamation point bracket, you can definitely yep. check out all the matches that are going down right now. We got a total of four pools, and there's a lot of killers in each pool. Just yep. fucking going at it here. And up next, we got Deadly Rebel, who's going to be taking on Burrito Voorhees. This should be a very good match, Caboose. Yep. Match should be nuts. I'm really hyped to see this. Two well-known names in the Netherrealm community, especially uh, Burrito Voorhees. We've we've heard a lot of, and and Deadly Rebel as well. N a very familiar name to uh, Champions of the Realm. The the air fart, as everyone likes to call it. Um, <laughs> the and air it's, and fart. It, and it's turned Cabal into this like actually really well-rounded character. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so it's really, really fun to watch, you know, someone like Deadly Rebel who plays Collector, someone like Burrito Voorhees here, Rock and Gearus, mess around with the custom variations and rock some different, uh, some different looking versions of the characters that we may have uh, been familiar with before MK11 Ultimate dropped. But all right, here we go. Game one about to be underway between it. Deadly Rebel and Burrito Voorhees. Get hyped. We're moving, moving on in this bracket. I think, what is this? The winner's quarterfinal of Pool 4. Winner of this will be facing off against Illusions. Oh man, yo, the top 16 matches are gonna be nuts. Really? Ooh. I gotta take a look. I gotta take a look. Killers. We got some. Let killer. me take a look. Let me take a look. While wow, these two kill each other. Oh yeah, man. Narrowing down to that that top 16 matches. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Yo, chat, you are not ready. And again, uh exclamation point uh bracket in the chat. <laughs> no, no, no. Exclamation point bracket in the chat. Also, exclamation point sign up to sign up for week uh week 
final week, week eight, right? Week eight, yep. yeah. Yeah, exclamation right. point to sign up for the final week. And also exclamation point Macharino. Sorry for all the exclamation points right now. Mods, if you no, wanna, if you wanna hit him, hit him. Let me hit him. Let me hit this command. Macharino, first of all, if you wanna add to the prize pool, if you'd be so inclined, if you'd be so kind, you can absolutely do so. If you're trying to sign up for the final week of Champions of the Realms 2, it's taking place next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. You can hit that link there. And then if you wanna check the bracket for Champions of the Realms 2, exclamation point bracket. Nightbot's got all the links, everything. Your one-stop shop is right there in the chat. Right now, this match is getting down to the wire. Deadly Rebel gonna hit him with a down four, getting some hit advantage here. Goes for the back two, three. Straight into oh. Fatal Blow, what a savage! Oh my that god. Savagery indeed, and that'll be the round. Deadly Rebel with the robbery. Bro, that was insanity, and he's gonna pull out four arms. He's gonna say, back the fuck up. Let's see if Burrito Borges is going to be able to recover from that, that craziness right now. Wow, back one into back forward two. That was actually sick. And again, just how I was saying earlier, you know, watching these players playing your character, you can learn a thing or two. Oh my God, Deadly Rebels just getting to work here. The breakaway from Burrito Borges. If he gets opened up one more time, Caboose, he's going to be in, he's going to be in a situation, bro. In a sticky situation. Oh, trying to close this out. Oh, get top at the command. Is that ground. crush? No. Still needed more distance on that burrito for he's tons of comeback potential here. I will be getting a G Fuel command for the next stream. I apologize about that. If anybody from G Fuel is watching, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you, okay? Don't I'm sorry. I love, oh shit. They just removed a couple of my toenails, bro. I'm fucked. Oh, wow, and Deadly yes, Rebel gonna it. finish with the air vial? Bro, he is playing way too clean right now. Going up 1-0 on Burrito Voorhees. Giving him the sledgehammer finish. Yo, he's basically stating right here that this is a fucking WWE match right now. You telling me it's a slobber knocker? <laughs> I don't know about all that, but... It's a slobber it's knocker. A, it's not a slobber knocker. I don't know about all that, but... <laughs> it's a slobber knocker. Oh, we're slobber knocking. Yeah, security, remove him right Whoa, now. Hey, 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 I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. You're really, you're going to come at me. You're going to come at me. I'll give you the leche bottle. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll let, I'll let They're you. Leaving. They're leaving. We'll let you off in a, in a warning this time. All right. Total I didn't even finish my G fuel and they're trying to kick me out of here. Like. Whoa, Burrito making a switch to Kodo Khan. Wait a sec. What does Kodo think about this? You impress them. You don't. You don't impress. You don't. You don't impress. You don't. Koro, finish it. You don't impress. Why is he? Why is he keep interrupting? Himself? He doesn't want to fucking finish it. Oh Fuck his problem. This fucking guy. Sometimes, sometimes Koro, he really pisses me off. Oh, that's armor breaker right off the bat into the 38% crushing blow. Great start there for Marina Voorhees. Oh my god, gonna hit him with a fucking giant mid from downtown. Tagging him for 24% for nothing. I mean, I'm not trying to like hate on the character or anything, but yo, he pressed two buttons and this man lost 24% life. You know that? 24% one bar? 24% one bar. Oh, the forward three, one, two. Deadly Rebel trying to make something happen here, but wait a second. Burrito gonna shut him down, pull out the bacon sword, and he's gonna. You don't impress me. Oh, okay. Finished it this time. Oh, he said it. Eh? He said it. Hey, Mr. Aquaman in the chat too. Right at the at the right time. Indeed. Let's go, Mr. Aquaman in the chat. Also, speaking of Kordo on the screen and Mr. Rockman in the chat, don't forget everybody to tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern time zone for the Mr. Aquaman's Kordo Gauntlet. Oh, sorry, no, I should rather say the Coliseums. The Coliseums, Kordo's Gauntlet is going to be absolutely insanity. Can you just imagine a room for a for a Kordo Khan just going, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't impress, Listen. Impress, 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 impress me. Listen, I, I have the honor, uh, Miss Rockman invited me to commentate that thing, so that's all I'm going to be saying all, all day tomorrow, so don't don't forget to tune in. Miss Rockman's going to get busy, busy, destroy. Can you commentate the fucking match? I'm going to say. 
You don't. You don't. You don't. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what you. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> nice throw there from Deadly Rebel. Still has an opportunity to close out this round. Standing for it. Standing for it. My goodness, gotta be so careful oh my here. God. And he lands it. Another That's just stolen around. That's round. That's just a Deadly Rebel. That's just a round. No way. No way. No way. That's just a round, no bro. It's okay. No way. No way. No way. No way. Shit, I think fucking Jerry just threw an EMP. My ears just popped. <laughs> Jerry, what the fuck? Fucking Koro Kong going, you just exploded in my ears. I gotta go to the hospital. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I gotta go to the hospital. I'll talk to you tomorrow. He's laughing at me, but I'm, I'm in pain. He's laughing at me, but I'm in pain right now. Cash is out on the down, too. Deadly Rebel right now has the life lead. Oh my god. After what was seemingly Burrito Warriors' game to win, Dude. Deadly Rebel now Leche. has a hell of a life lead. Leche. And is applying the pressure. What a flawless block. Leche is oozing out of my ears right now, bro. Mm. Great. Let's see. Fatal blow. I believe, man. You got Miss Rockman in the chat. The Coral Gauntlet tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. This could be the comeback of a lifetime. Tries to go for the command grab, but oh my god, Deadly Rebel with the Jeepers Creepers read. Gonna neutral jump and punish him with a forward one. Smack Coral Khan is in pain. <laughs> Yo. What the fuck? Get this man some water, please. Yo, and Deadly Rebel with the Collector Rob emote. What a dirty son of a bitch. That is just, that's violation right there. He came through with the Collector Rob emote. If we got any Deadly Rebel subscribers, I want to see the Collector Rob emote right now. If you don't have it, then I want to see Pog Tree. Collector. Or, or, or Pog Boost. What's what what that one called, huh? Caboose Pog, yeah, Caboose Pog. Boost Pog? Caboose Pog. Or if you really want, just type uh, lay in that kind of match. Speaking of man, uh, I definitely got to go resub to your channel so I can get a hold of that 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 boost pog again. You got to change that shit to tier one, man. It is. Oh, it is. Round yes. One. Fight. It is tier one. Now I'm hundred percent gonna resub. Everybody go resub to Caboose right now. Everybody go sub resub <laughs> to the homie Caboose for the tier one Caboose pod. It's getting crazy. Deadly Rebel starting things off hot and ready with the vials. Oh, the standing four just giving him a little a little taste of the of the mace to the face. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bars, bars. Check it. I got the mace to the face. I'm gonna tell you the mace to the face. And that's all I know how to say. Mace to the face. Mace to the face. Check it. Mace to the face. And I'm gonna hit you with a little mace to the face. Yo, you told me to give him the hit single. What the fuck? That was my, that was my, that was my solo. Tried to toss the bola. Oh, he got caught. That's an overcommitment. Wow, he broke away. Defensive meter gets caught by the big mid, and that'll be the round going to Burrito Voorhees. You. <laughs> Very good stuff. I love that that win outro right there, bro. He summons like fucking 50 totems. This man summons 50 totems. He says, "I got 50% life bonus now. Try me." The forward one, two, not gonna happen. He's gonna open him up with the ice ring scoop. Bacon bits galore. Yo, these down ones, man. The Koto Khan probably has one of the most savage looking down ones in the game. Throw so much force into that down one. His down one should just do as much damage as the down two at that point. If it's gonna look that savage. You said his name is down one? His name is down ones galore. Oh, wake up back three. That was sick. Dodging the pizza pie. You know Miles. Collector does not like those fucking pineapples. Dodge that shit quick. Oh, God. Oh, he's dead. Oh, and, and that's he's it. dead. Another round is robbed. 
but this time he does not need to spend the fatal blow and needs to just get the conversion and he will that was optimal Deadly rebel that was fucking optimal point. that was risky that was risky that was, but I very mean, optimal not super risky but like ship and pipo ship it and pipo Big combo here now. Deadly Rebel gonna try and take control, riding the momentum after stealing that last round. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. Deadly Rebel has not really been hit this round. Short hop connects. Burrito Voorhees got a mountain to climb here. The size of Everest. But wait a second. He's starting to get to the summit. Will he be able to make this comeback? Another short hop for Deadly Rebel. Oh, the damage burning. over time. He can't take Burrito this damage. Gotta be wow. careful. He gets burned. And Deadly Rebel will take the set 3-0. Bro, that was such a difficult position for Burrito Voorhees. He could not do anything. He had a fucking six-arm freak on top of him. Just throwing everything he's got. Meanwhile, getting burned alive in that corner. Unbelievable plays from Deadly Rebel. And that was a 3-0, bro. Against Burrito Voorhees, that is quite a heavy-duty player right there. So you oh, gotta you gotta give no. credit where it's due, man. Shout outs to Deadly oh, Rebel no. taking it over uh Burrito like that. That was nuts. We're gonna be going into our net our next match, which looks like is gonna be against Let me see. Sweat MD versus Jet Ring. This should be a good one. Um, Sweat MD. Where is this at? All right, and, and I see, man, Sweat Over MD, there. bro. He's been going up against a lot of killers in this bracket. So for him to make it as far as he's gotten so far, I think he's in the. Oh my God! What? Do you know who he sent to losers? Who? Leyenda Karnech. <sighs> None other. Than Leyenda Karnech. <laughs> Sweat MD in winner semis right now on pool three, facing off against Jet Ring Night Stalker. Wait. Already in the winner's final. What's Jet Ring's PSN? Are they sending? I think that's the wrong one. That's the one I got from the. Oh my god! Is it just Jet Ring? Yeah, that's all that's there. All right. I don't know how this guy managed to get the only jet ring, but he did it. This is the original jet ring right now we're about to get in the game. The one and only. The one and only. So this should be very interesting. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is not his PSN, but if it is, then then it works out. And I don't got to go hunting Leanda. hunting this guy Leanda. down. Signed up for like five accounts. <laughs> Laying in the car oh, and man, say, I you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make top eight with this. The last thing I do today. Signs up with like 50 accounts. That would be the play. One of the top 16 matches is just him against his other account. Look, already Slick Shot said <laughs> Night Night. What was the name again? I already forgot, man. What was this short term memory loss? Night Stalker. Slick Shot says Ninja Kill. I'm scared. This Ninja Killer, bro. Nah. <laughs> GG's. No GG's to everybody competing. No way. These guys are going to be like, well, what happened? They're like, what the fuck is, is this? What's, gonna, what's a Night Stalker? You foreign? Who's that? That's you foring Black Lives Matter? Is it? No way. Is it? He revamped his name to Night Stalker? Dude, you foring When he was younger, he looked just like uh, like Link from Zelda. I swear to God. Okay. He was, a, he was a, a, an incredible Aaron Black player. Competed all the way from MKX. Came into Mortal Kombat 11. And uh, I guess he, he rebranded to Night Nightshade. Night Stalker. <laughs> Night Stalker. <laughs> I'm calling everything but that. Yeah, seriously. Nicely done from Sweat MD. Start making a little bit of a comeback. He's got the, the Jason skin, I think. Oh, that's a punish. This skin's so badass. I don't know why he didn't put the mask on, but I'm going to let it slide. <laughs> Mr. Aquaman, yeah, I did. <laughs> I really did, bro. Mm. Oh, the, the cane to the face. And that'll be enough on chip there. Jet Ring gonna take the first round. That was sick as hell. You got Shanak in the background. He said, Iwe puta! <laughs> Yo, Shanak, relax. You Shanak is shit butt. <laughs> he doesn't have a... He doesn't have a body. <laughs> yeah, phantom shit butt. It's probably his corpse buried in the grave, that shit butt, but... <laughs> 
in, in the bone temple? I don't think he's got shit but in here. Oh no. No, not, not in here. For sure not in here. God damn, this, this cabal, oh, with the reason. Yes, Wet MD is going crazy right now with the variation name in a flash. Really putting the beat down here. Wow, what a Ooh. read. Dude, that was That's sick. That's a crush I haven't seen in a minute. No, that was sick as hell. That was shooting pipe wow. right there. Sweat MD taking control, tying up the rounds. Final round. Play it. Ooh, knocking oh. him out of the air. That was, that was sick as hell. Really was godlike. Gonna bop him in the head. What's it gonna be? He tries to jump over, but the wake up three covering that option. Smart stuff from Sweat MD. Just knowing his, uh, knowing what he can go for and what he can. Oh my god, he leaps right in there. That wow. was huge. Wow. Coming from uh, Jet Ring. What the fuck is his variation name, dude? Hit confirm. Oh, hit confirm clown. Ooh. That is definitely three amplifications now on the Bird Boy beatdown. One conversion into just non amplified Bird Boy beatdown. And we oh have my god. a crushing He's blow. No, he got just a sliver enough. of life left. Not he enough. Gets to, he gets to one point. It's not enough. Bro, this is big stuff here. I feel like. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why not Fatal? I don't, I don't know why he wouldn't just go for the Fatal Blow. He's looking for anything now to activate Fatal. Oh! Oh my god. Wow. The chip will be enough. You gotta wonder how this match plays out differently if SweatMD just commits to the Fatal Blow and sees what he can do from there. Regardless though, Jet Ring manages, keeps it under control, closes out game one. Wow, Zers! That was crazy. And yo, a variation of Joker we do not see quite often. You know, no. he's going with the with the corpse swing or whatever the hell that move is called, and it seems to be causing a lot of trouble for Sweat MD. Bro, that was sick as hell. Jet Ring is coming here to play for Week Seven of the Champions of the Realm Season Two. Wowzers! Come on. You're right about the Wowzers, Destroyer. You are right about that. Wowzers! Oh my god! I knew it was just a matter of time until little Dominican little Dominican <laughs> man slipped his way into the stream. Just a matter of time. Wow. Sometimes he's just running around the studio and like, you know, when when I turn away for a second, he runs by the money. Like, oh my god. I wanna know right now, you gotta tell me. When uh -huh. he runs by, does he have a plate of uh, salami and mangu? The tostones? Uh I, I don't know. I didn't know that's what it was called. He always has a plate of something. Wow, son of a bitch. Running around eating the salami, mangu, tostones. Little yeah. Dominican man running around with no mercy, it seems. Next yeah, thing you I know, mean, he's going to be running around with his fucking wee-wee out. Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> then, then we're locked in the studio for good. <laughs> Not, uh, we're going to lockdown. Arnold, no Arnold, no We're going to full lockdown. Keith, Keith David, nobody's allowed in after that. No, nah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing down. We're going to have to hire Sir Kaka Pipi for fucking security at that point. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, we got to get in the security <laughs> in full force. <laughs> wow. The Jack in the Box gonna fly away. Hey, hey, we gotta get some Shadow Priest in the chat right now. We gotta get some oh, Shadow yes, Priest sir. in the chat. Yes, we got him sir. chilling. There's a Shadow Priest, bro. Bit of zoning coming in from Jet Ring. Jumps in using the boxing gloves. Forward throw connects. One, Jack in the box, and then another throw. This time a back throw, sending Sweat MD out of the corner. That was sick. He's trying to rush him down here. The flawless block. Sweat MD still in this fight, but just as I say that, he's gonna get hit confirmed into a Bird Boy beat down. Please be the trees. Is it the trees for you? No, I got the chapel. It's not the living forest. Damn it. Oh man, imagine if it was the living forest off of the Shadow Priest. I mean, what's a good emo representation of this stage? Uh, the MK uh, mirror in the background? Yeah, if you got the cocky butt. <laughs> you got a... A towel with a shit stain on it is the emo. Oh, was that crushing blow? No, not just yet. Still need some more amplification on the Bird Boy beatdown. Jet Ring, though, maintaining this corner. Dude, look at this MD. pressure! Gotta get out of there. Seriously, whatever this variation is, it is working wonders for Jet Ring as he's gonna close out game two.
this character in general, Joker is so solid. And in the right hand, specifically what we're seeing here from Jet Ring, you clearly see what the character is capable of, even with a variation that we may not recognize. Yo, and I'm getting so excited because Caboose, the way this set's turning out, I don't know, but I think we're going to be seeing Jet Ring going up against this uh, Night, Night Stalker. Nightshade. It's not Nightshade. It's Nightshade now? It's Night... Night... It's Night it's Stalker. Night. It's Good Night. No, it's Night Stalker. You got me lost, bro. This guy's going to pull up to the studio with a fucking... <laughs> shit with pipe, but he's going to knock everyone out. I don't even know what that means. But I'm scared. Uh, I think we have one more match before we get into the top eight here. One more match before the ship and a pipo. Round one. Fight. Yeah, we're gonna have one more, which is gonna be Deadly Rebel versus Illusions, and then we'll be swinging over into the top 16. Where we'll be forming the top eight that's gonna be going down this Friday, live on this Twitch channel. Oh, beautiful pickup from uh, Sweat MD. Gonna put Jet Ring in the corner, but god damn, the double. Dude, did you see that? He's just swinging corpses like there's no tomorrow. Oh my god, how did Joker have this many people held hostage? <laughs> There's a lot of corpses being tossed on screen. That leap is such a good move as well. Close the gap up. immediately. He's brought a whole fucking 18 wheeler full of hostages. Full oh, of nice sausages. Throw. Shuts down the wake up wall. Jet ring. Just a couple of hits away from being on match point. There's that corpse swing. Whiff punish. No, not gonna whiff punish, but gonna chip out with swinging the corpse once again. Match point for Jet Ring with this ridiculous Joker variation. DJ Khaled is in the back like, DJ Khaled! <laughs> Damn, look at this pressure! The Jack in the Box not gonna hit him on the wake up. Bro. Yeah, this is bad, bro. Jet Ring has all of the control. What is Sweat MD gonna do to get out of this situation right now? Beautiful oh, down two! This could be it! He should have went for the fucking the, the hook! You're hooked! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! We the best! <laughs> Another one! Good jump in three! He's gonna catch him with the counter hit on the back one! This could be something big for Sweat. Oh my god, the wake up standing two! Godlike from Jet Ray. Ray. Dude, that off that the low. Oh, he's dead. And that is it. Off the forward two. 3 0 for Jet Ring. Moving on to face off against Night Stalker in the top 16. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Yes, sir. So. Looks like we're going to be moving on to the final match, Caboose. Uh, and not the final match for the night, but the final match that's going to be forming our top 16 for tonight. This should be very exciting. And that's going to be uh, Deadly Rubble versus Illusions. Yo, what's crazy? And, and dude, I promise you, I do not do this purposely. You know, Spanky Doodle has a big part of forming the brackets. I have a very yeah. little part in it. But okay. a lot of the times, you know, it, it could be one random, one random week that I'll see two players that definitely fought before in the series. And this is a matchup we have seen before 100%. Yeah. I guarantee you, Deadly Rebels yep. versus Illusions. You're absolutely correct. I do remember that these two have faced off against each other before. And the winner between those two has a hell of a task if they want to make it into top eight. Because right now, sitting and waiting for his top 16 match, I believe, is that is that the champion? This next match. Somebody, somebody's got to keep Destroyer in check, man. Yo, this guy yo. gets out of control. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. All right, well, here we go. Game one about to be underway between Illusions and Deadly Rebel. Illusions, someone we've seen quite a bit of with that Jade, a super solid Jade. Yes. And Deadly Rebel, I mean, we just saw him play with the, uh, with the Collectioner. So let's see what happens here. But again, the winner 
goes into the top 16 matches to face off against Gur, <laughs> which I think honestly is the scariest part about this match that has nothing to do with Gur currently. But <laughs> here, here we go. We're heading into game one. Oh my God. Dude, my audio just like muted for a split second. And I, I, I just, I just shit myself. All right, he's gonna toss the vial to the ground. Two vials to the ground. And your boy Illusions is melting. Illusions is melting right now. Oh, good overhead. Tries to catch him with the projectile. Not gonna happen though. Oh, there's a marijuana leaves. We've seen this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the, the marijuana leaves as the projectiles. You told me that I smoke is blunted. I go to get extra gains. You told me that I smoke is blunted. Go to get extra gains. You told me that I just smoke is blunted. Get extra gains. Dude, what is going on right now? I have no clue. It's getting crazy. The short hop, kick to the mouth. Another one. Deadly Rebel needs one more touch, but the down one interruption! Nice. Oh my god. Illusions not falling for the gimmick. Oh my god. Oh, wow. oh the straight projectile. She says, smell this, you shithead. And Collector said, I do not smoke weed. Two, I thought he said, lay in the garbage. <laughs> what? You don't say that? <laughs> I think you got the uh, Evolvo language turned on for your game. Oh my god. <laughs> Desert Rebel gonna land the bola, gonna get a nice little combo going here. Doesn't convert off the down one. Oh, the bio gets oh. tossed and then down to anti are a really good round for uh for Deadly Rebel there. That was nice. That was very nice. That down two just throwing her out of proportions here. Very good. Tries to go for the low, but Deadly Rebel, he is just Yo, the one thing I love about Deadly Rebel's Collector, he doesn't give you a fucking chance. Like, he knows you're gonna try to steal the turn, but he's ready to just say, hey, stop there, buddy. I got these incredible pokes, down three, down four, that's gonna really throw you off your game here. Look, just like that, down four. I think he was gonna try to go for a Bola, a Bola trade or something, I'm not too sure. Nice wow. little connection there, the punish for Deadly Rebel. Gonna toss the vial, damage over time. And nice use of the interactable to get out of the corner. Illusions was burned quite a bit, though. Gonna go for the low. Dance. They're short sure hot. This is looking really good for Illusions here. And I'm loving this variation named My Air. He's trying to say, yo, I got the air control here. Look at that, just like that. Oh my god, able to block on time. Illusions cannot afford to take too many more hits here. Gotta be so careful. No, no. conversion. Nice, no punish off the front of being blocked. No defensive meter. Oh my god. Deadly Rebel. Ah! He connects the low, wow. and that'll be it. The low kick. Oh man, if Deadly Rebel was able to make that comeback with no defensive meter, he had no opportunity to take any chip damage. Illusions takes game one. Dude, that mask is badass, bro. Yeah, for real. And it, it, I'm, I don't know, man. Is it just me or like characters that have the mask and like mask you know? <laughs> Characters that have like mass cosmetics, I feel like they get the best, man. They get the best options. Like Noob Saibot, Scarlet, Melina, Shao Kahn. Oh my god. Sub Zero J. Nah, no doubt about it. Any character that has a mask of some kind always ends up getting the best kind of gear in the game. Soul Chamber. Let's see what goes down, man. Illusion's taking game number one in a super close set right there. Almost going down to the wire. That was like the Shibut and Pipo showdown of the century. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, no doubt about it, yeah. Hey. How are you? You doing good, you? Hey. Yeah, I'm really trying to. You doing good, you? All right. Oh my god, where's the punish? The shadow kick going right over his head, and he's not gonna. Or the or nitro turbo? It's turbo, turbo time. Kick. I think maybe he was dying. expecting the amplification, that's why he didn't really go for the punish. Nice down two there no, from Illusions. No, no, that's not... Up. I don't think so, because if, he, if, if that was the case, he would have been blocking. He stayed in the neutral, the neutral crouching position. 
Good punish there. He's going to get a crushing blow off that standing too. Oh, purple stuff just in time. Good old fashioned purple stuff. Listen, if anybody can tell me the name of that move in the chat right now, I'd be greatly appreciated. Because last time I said purple stuff 100 times, Mary said, You say purple stuff one more time, I'm a bitch slap. I said, What? I said, Mary, don't give that a There's a lot of damage. I, no, he's a lot. I think it's not going to be. He's a lot. No, this, this will not finish. Well, so it turns out it is called the purple shit. Oh, but that'll be it. Nicely done. Deadly Rebel secures the round. You always want to make sure you do so, especially after spending such a major resource like the Fatal Blow. Well, people said it's called purple shit. That's the name of the move, actually, in the game. <laughs> I'm convinced people don't even know what the hell it's called themselves. <laughs> I'm convinced. Trying to hit him with the plus frames. Oh, just gonna get hit by it. I don't know if that was like, just to get out of that pressure or if he's trying to make a read on the stagger. But Deadly Rebel setting just a trail of flames here. Good down poke. Gonna go into the Lila's dance. I'm noticing a lot. Deadly Rebel just opening up free in this uh, block pressure here. Trades there on the projectile. Trades again with the vial. Right now, Illusions winning on these trades. Air projectiles connect on chip. Another air projectile connects. The chip damage. You got to be so careful, though, oh! here. If you're Illusions. That's a chip out. Illusions Very good stuff. Round chipping out Deadly Rebel's health bar there. What's crazy, too, is even if that wasn't a uh, chip out, you know, he would have just meter burned the Lila's dance and would have put himself in a position to, like, go for, like, wiggle stick or, or the overhead. So many options off that move. And that's another thing J players are getting accustomed to doing is they go for the, the Lila's dance raw, and it's, it goes unpunished because they're waiting for the meter burn. Yeah, smart that's stuff. That's one of the things about that move that makes it so difficult to deal with. Similar to the, uh, what's it, the something, the, the, the tentacle thing from Devora that everyone keeps telling me to call it the proper name, but I'm always going to call it the tentacle move. It's the yeah. same situation with that, where when you're facing off against something like Honeybee's Devora, you're getting hit by it. Yes, non-amplified, it's punishable, but half the time you're waiting for that amplification. And right now, Illusion is looking to close this game out and go up 2-0 in the set, and it looks like he's going to be able to do so. Illusion's playing so well with the Jade right now. What do you do if you're Deadly Rebel? This is when shit starts hitting the fan here, man. Deadly Rebel going down 2-0 against a, a very patient, you know, a methodical character like Jade. It's, it's very scary. Because you got to kind of play her game. And one thing I notice about Jade, bro, is if you don't have the life lead, it's going to be one hell of a fucking time for you. It's going to be almost a, a struggle because she's going to be running back. She's going to keep that life lead. She yep. has so many options to just keep yep. you away. And that's what Illusions is going to do. Is, and then pair that up with a move like Delilah's Dance. I was just about to say. You know, getting that, that additional pressure up close. She is just a problem overall. And again, that's just a testament to what this character can do with the custom variations and having that ability to, to be free with these characters and do whatever you want Evolve with up. these characters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Illusions is able to take control and utilize an ability like Delia's Dance to its fullest like capability, I guess, if you will. And he's doing that so far in this set. Deadly Rebel taking a beat, which sometimes you need to do when you're down 2-0. Take a breather, slow down your opponent for a second. They're clearly riding a wave of a momentum. I mean, I think Deadly Rebel is very capable of taking yeah. this. Oh, going to the controls. Ooh. Maybe something was wrong with the controls. No way. Or maybe, oh, maybe he plays, a, he's going for a different oh, variation that requires a different yeah. type of input. Yeah, uh, that's right. I think we're seeing here out of this variation is the command grab. Demonic clutch, right. yes. He's got the ma yeah. and he's got teleport, so now he's gonna probably deal with the uh, zoning options a bit better. Yep. And bag bomb. I'm super curious to see how Deadly Rebel is gonna utilize this to try to make a, a comeback here. This is gonna be sick. Starting off with the down four immediately. Good stuff from Deadly Rebel. Oh, Delilah's dance, and that's the mix-up right there. She can either go for the plus frames, which will try to flawless block, or she can keep that gap closed with the Delilah. Jade is such a problem now, bro. You just the more and more I watch her, and the more people are like, 
you know, developing mind games into that Delilah's dance. Yeah. It's looking so scary. Uh, this character is absolutely good. So right now, Deadly Rebel having a really good start to this game. Certainly a lot more, a bigger change in pace than what we've seen in the last two games. But he's got to be careful of the zoning. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Score. Yeah, big punish coming in. Illusion's going to continue the pressure. Lands a throw. Couple of hits away from being on match point. The purple shit is activated. And there we go. This is the of teleport. Territory. The teleport now starting to become useful. And, and yo, that he, was did, all he didn't go. That he didn't go for 443. So this is going to be additional damage. No, not too much scaling here. Gotta close yep. it out. 41% yep. deadly rebel with the robbery. He's got to keep playing just like this if he wants to make this comeback. And remember, Caboose, this is off the variation switch. You know, he's got the teleport now and he's got the command grab. And I feel that's two very effective tool sets to put on a character like uh, against Jay. Yeah, Deadly Rebel clearly showcasing that that variation switch was exactly what he needed right now. He is in full control. Absolutely got in the driver's seat. Now Illusions is the one who's got to sit here and figure oh out what he wants to do if he's trying to close this set up 3-0. Otherwise, we're going to a game four. Mm. And down to Crush and the defensive meter. Still not gonna be enough to oh save my God. Deadly Rebel. He can make oh. Wait a second. This Sorry, is so much damage. damage. Illusions, I was bro. trying to say. Illusions Deadly Rebel Bro, straight into the overhead, right into Fatal Blow. This is a lot of fucking damage right here. We're looking at a near 40% combo. Life bars are even as can be. You gotta be so careful. Oh! What a comeback. Holy shit. Illusions. Off the fatal blow, he didn't have defensive meter too. He could have been chipped out. The odds were stacked against him, but now Illusion sitting on match point after a ridiculous comeback. But once again, Deadly Rebel will continue the onslaught, getting a huge corner combo. Breakaway towards the end of it, and flawless blocking that jump in. I don't know what the what just happened. Dude, this is absolute insanity right now. He's gonna hit him with the meter burn on uh, Nitro Kick. Nice punish. This is huge. The neutral jump. Oh, Deadly no, Rebel tried to catch him. He didn't get the full conversion of the score. The down one. No more fatal blow in this round. It's all just about you landing the hits, landing the combo. What is oh going my on? Goodness, Deadly Rebel is jumping around like a maniac. He's, he doesn't land have, the back does he blow. have the, the damage over time vial? No, he has the bag bomb. This is it. He cannot opt to go for zoning anymore. He's had to be very careful here. And remember, Jade is not the character that chunks damage like a, a lot of the other characters in the cast. So, Deadly Rebel has the opportunity to kind of play it safe. Kind of just back off. He can afford one, at least one more hit before it's in a, a very danger territory. I'm so nervous. 19 seconds. He cannot get hit anymore. Oh my god, it's irreparable. Damn, I think that comes down to as well Illusion just letting the character drop from the sky a little bit before tossing the air projectile. At the peak there, I think she avoids that interactable completely, which would have been huge for Illusion. But it looks like we're going to a game four and Deadly Rebel is making this variation switch work. He really is, dude. Gonna bag him up and take one on the board here against Illusions. This is exactly what he needs, you know? It was kind of looking like all hope was lost in the beginning of the set, but Deadly Rebel getting this one game on the board can give him that hope he needs. It can give him that momentum. That Shibuden fucking Pipo! God damn it! Dude, this G yeah. feels getting me too hype. Holy, this, that's this, what's up. This G feels getting me too hype. That's what I like to hear. No, 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 no. You want to go to round two? Because we can go to round two. Oh, oh, yeah? You want to go round two? You don't want to mess with my shotgun. All right, all right, all right. This guy said when we were fighting, he's Motaro. He went lay in that kind of man. Had to let you know for the one time, you know? One time for the one time, indeed. Ooh, that could have been a punish. Blocks the short hop. Deadly Rebel doesn't. Oh, interrupts the teleport with that air projectile. 
for the low. This is super close stuff right now, man. Dudley Rebel still working his way up this hill, fighting against illusions as he's up 2-1 in this insanity of a set. Good blocks, man. He's flawless blocking, really trying to negate as much damage as he can with these projectiles. Tries to hit him with the forward one too, but unfortunately, he's gonna get clipped out of the air. Not letting him follow up with that damage. What the? Yo, this is huge! How much damage we're we looking at? He goes for optimal. Oh my God! He was able to break Ooh. in time. I mean, what? Was illusions breaking away at the end there to try and get a punish? Possibly, open? possibly. He tried to. Kind of smart. Yeah, he tried to time it properly, but that might have been a, a safe, uh, a safe down two combo. It might have yeah. been, been guaranteed there to get that Ten block. Seconds left. Oh my illusions God! Illusions has got to get in and make something happen. He lands the jump in air projectiles. This is not going to be enough. Oh, but he had an opportunity there. Oh my God! God. Dude, oh this fucking God. match is too much for me to handle right now, bro. Deadly Rebel, one round away. We might be going to a game five, Destroyer. Yo, today we've been going to one second, zero seconds all day. Is this like the theme of, of week seven? We're not even at the top 16 matches. We're getting three hours into Yo, tonight because like, of how long these on. matches have lasted. I'm not even joking. Like, every single week just gets crazier and crazier. <laughs> you guys just... Unbelievable, all about the crush of those two Nitro or Turbo Kicks, whichever one it's called. He's Nitro Turbo Kick. Oh, he's in the corner here. He's in trouble in the short hop pole. Look at the sassiness coming out of Jade. She said, smell my fart, bitch. Whoa, 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 yo. Yo, Jade, you serious right now? That's dirty, yo. It's a dirty girl, yo. Hold up. She a dirty girl, bro. Wait a minute. Oh, the rollout. Him with the back two three. Nicely done with the short hop there from Deadly Rebel. Deadly Rebel needs to make the call outs on these get up rolls. Could potentially get some damage on the table off of that. But he's kind of cornered here, pinned down by illusions. Just as I say that, he gets a moment. Oh my god, Caboose. He's going for optimal. Trying to bait out the breakaway. The short hop kick. That could have been it. Oh, command grab. Is that enough? No, not just yet. Trying to get the cross up. What the oh fuck my god. was that? Illusions. Whoa. Oh my god, again the interactable closes out the game for Deadly Rebel and we're going to a game five. This variation switch has yes. done numbers or has done so much for Deadly Rebel. I mean, I'm kind of glad that Deadly Rebel is kind of seeing this for himself during a tournament match because it kind of looked like he was skeptical going into this variation, you know? He, he was sitting in the character select screen for a good second. He was like, fuck, what do I do in this situation? He said, you know what? Let me try this variation I got built towards, you know, counter zoning. You got the teleport. You got the, the, the bag of bombs. And you even got Demonic Clutch. You got a nice little command grab there. I think Collector's Command Grab is one of the best in the games, hand, hands down. So let's I think see. He's a, bit of a collectioner. he's a bit of a collectioner. Let's see how he's gonna be able to uh, go into this next match here. Collect this is very scary stuff. Rain. Illusions thinking about rain. Illusions thinking about going to rain. I'm not sure. Could this be the right pick? We haven't really seen Illusions play anybody outside of Jade, have we? No, I mean, he was doing really good with the Jade. Maybe just readjust, you know? He has to think about how that matchup oh. was going. He needs to think about when Deadly Rebel's teleporting, when he's utilizing the uh, the command grab, and just try to readjust to the situation. But it looks like Illusion is throwing the Jade pick out the window and going for the rain. I don't know about this, Caboose. I'm a little worried. I'm, I'm a little fucking worried. This is a bit of a risky pick, but I, I guess we'll see if that risk is going to pay off for Illusion. And using the anime rip. We will find I mean, out. I don't know. I think, I think this variation still plays to kind of the strong suit that, uh, that Illusion has. That, that yeah. full screen kind of pressure, a bit of a zoning. This is final game for both these players. Winner of this is going to be moving into the top 16. Will they be playing for their spot into the top eight? Good command grab. Deadly Rebel right now has corner position. Tries to go for the short. Oh, against Gurr? <laughs> Golly, that is a tough one, man. Oh, went for the around the world kick. 
That was sick. Guitar Toss is Magic Pixel right now for Deadly Rebel. This character switch has really done well for Illusion. He's making it work with Rain. Match point now. Bro, I gotta mention, this. whatever pool this is, I think this pool was a little too stacked. Oh my god. You had Dorito, you had Deadly, you had Illusions, you had Gur. What the fuck was Spanky Doodle thinking putting this pool together? Oh, oh good punish! He's gonna oh launch him. Goodness. This is huge. Deadly Rebel looking to tie things up here. Dude, if this match goes to the absolute wire, I'm gonna go crazy. It might, it might destroy her. This may be our Not final short, round. Huh? Our game five final oh, round. Shit, the we, fuck down. Much, we managed to get every single week a set just as intense as this one. And here it is. Final game, final round between Deadly Rebel and, Ill and Illusion. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, he gets the forward three into the bolo right off the bat. This is a lot of damage starting off this final round here. Deadly Rubble with the jump. He's gonna get nice. an exit here. Dude, this is too much for me to handle. Wow! Nice guitar toss. Oh, he gets a jump in! No! God like. The back. The back, the back forward too. He's just backing up right now. Deadly Rebel, no, this is getting a little too risky here. Those are Bagel Bomb. Oh, you do not want to hit no more trades against Reigns, Qatar. That's just no, too much sir. damage to afford right now. Whoa, when was that at a game here? What the hell? Yo, did you see that fuzzy from Deadly Rebel? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That could have been the end of the game. Why didn't he finish it? Oh my God, Chip avoided. Chip avoided. There is an opportunity oh, here. He blocks the short hop and punishes with the down one. And Illusions shuts down the reverse 3 0 attempt from Death. I think my Rebel stream just Oh no, he fucking disconnected. Yo, these son of a bitches, bro. Fucking Christ. They scared the shit out of you, huh? Dude. Why the hell would you disconnect? I have fucking PTSD syndrome for these fucking stream crashes. Shit. Very unfortunate there. Deadly Rebel looked like he was on the road to getting that reverse 3-0, but Illusions with the character switch to Rain is going to hold on to the collectioner's eyeballs. Yo, the way you pronounce that character's name. What, did I, what do you mean? You call him the, the coll collectioner? The collectioner. I don't, is, that even a, name. is that even a word? That's his name, the collection. I'm gonna have to fucking re up on the G field because this guy's got the me. Collection. This guy's got me fucking leaking leche what out is, the ears. I don't even know anymore. It's the, it's the collectionator. What did it? What? Do, what do you mean? I'm just saying his name. How it's supposed to be said? Like I. What's your problem? What's your issue? What are you doing? <laughs> you got me going crazy, bro. Oh, hold on. But before before we move on with things, let me just. Uh, please tell me if this bracket shows, bro. <laughs> I, I hope. <laughs> It's not just a fucking black screen again. Smoke. I hope it's not just a black screen again. We're gonna, oh, we're, man, gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hit it. Uh, you see, you see the fucking shit. You guys see it? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay, got perfect. So pool number one. This, we're gonna be heading into the top sixteen for tonight. Uh, winners of these matches are going to be advancing into the top eight that's going to be taking place this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone. So pool number one, we got Auti going up against oh, Garrect. Pool that's number insane. two, we got Achilles going up against King Gambler. Pool three. Who we, we got? got? Who we got? Other than Jet Ooh. Ring facing off against the, the unknown Night Stalker. I really want to see that match, bro. And tell oh, me wait, about no, no, no. Who, who was Night Stalker? Uh, Black Lives Matter said in the chat again. That's uh, was... Euphorian. 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 Yeah. And and then tell me about pool number four. And then pool number four, which we just rounded out, is gonna be Illusions facing off against the champion of the realm. Holy Grr. shit! This is gonna be crazy, bro. Welcome back, everyone, to the Champions of the Realms Season 2 Week 7 Pool Play. We had quite the week tonight, man. You know, so many matches going to the absolute wire, down to the absolute one second, zero second timer area, and yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch a fucking... I, give me a break. Competitors, give me a freaking break. This yeah, week know. is wild. These guys I, really got to relax. And it's only going to get more insane now that we're in the top 16 matches. 100%. And speaking of top 16 matches, we're going to be getting into our first top 16 match right now, which is going to be Auti going up against Get Wrecked. 
How you feeling about this, Caboose? I really don't even know what the hell to expect, but if I remember correctly, Otzi, he rocks rain as well, right? We're going to see a little he more rain. He rocks rain, rain he rocks spawn. This guy has quite the cast of characters he plays yep. with here. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see who he's bringing out to the table. Get wrecked right away, going to the Johnny Cage. This is certainly going to be a difficult matchup for Otzi, but we have seen Otzi perform with this rain before so i'm really excited as we get into our first match of the top 16 as i mentioned right before we went into the break these are the matches that determine who makes it to the top eight for this friday on the winner's side That's which provides right. you a huge advantage not only in the fact that if you get into grand finals you're on that winner's side and you have so much breathing room although from what we saw last week we know that nobody's safe, regardless of being on the winner's no, side of Grand nobody's Final safe. You are damn right about um, that, dude. We I saw, think I think, bro, the last three weeks in a row. Yeah. The yeah. last three weeks in a row, Jesus. we had reverse oh, Grand Final sucks. sets that went to the absolute wire. Dude, like, yep. literally, Caboose, every YouTube intro I make for these fucking tournaments, I'm like, they went crazier. <laughs> they went crazier. And the, the people are just like, yeah, you're right, it did. Oh, you're not, yeah, you're no, not no, lying. And, I, and I've been, I feel like I've been a broken record as well, the amount of times that I've said, oh my goodness, this is probably the craziest week of Champions of the Rump too. But it, it's the truth. It just gets more and more insane each and every week, especially last week was nuts. But yeah, being on that winner's side, you still get a bit of an advantage. You know, you have that breathing room. Even if you were to lose a game, you're not eliminated from the tournament right away. So a lot on the line here. And even just making that top eight, you could potentially get a piece of our weekly prize pool, $150 that's provided in thanks to Console Gaming League, the sponsor of this tournament, which is where you'll Thank see you the so much to console over on your Twitch page. Make sure you guys are following CGL. Actually, make sure you CGL in chat. Cause that's where the finale is taking place you guys don't want to miss that oh my god dude do you remember the the last season one finale that shit was it was, insane. It was, it was nuts insane. bro but this match is getting crazy right now oh the pole gonna close it out get wrecked what is he looking for he's looking for fuck you rain wow <laughs> i mean that's what he did there he's losing his mind good punish auntie GG's handshakes. He's trying to get the, the, the shake hands scenario. Let's see if he can ha make it happen. Get wrecked. is going to be up one round. Ooh, tagging him. That was a, a weird trade right there. Dude, we've been seeing weird hits all day today. Dumb poke. He's getting very aggressive. Get wrecked. Yeah. Slowly working on this life bar. Oh, the I down two know, going dude. through that. Bro, that was That's sick. Insane. That could be scary for Ozzy to deal with now because he's going to be a little weary of going for that, uh, what do they call that move? I don't know. That one right there. I don't know. The, the, the Toto Teta. <laughs> Yo, imagine you go to the moveset and says that. Good throw. <laughs> Get wrecked right now. He is one fatal blow confirm Hydra. away from taking this. Hydra. Oh my god, the trade! He gets a throw! Bro. Ozzy, oh. yeah, you know, the, with the movement of uh, rain, this is going to be super difficult for Get Wrecked. Nice flawless block there. Oh, but the standing one will get Ozzy the round. We're all tied up. This is surely going to be a real back and forth set. A real Leyenda Carnage right here. Leyenda Carnage. Dude, they're kind of just throwing projectiles back and forth at each other. And I don't think that's the type of war you want to get into with a character like Rain. Again, that Qatar, one of the fastest projectiles in the game. Especially if he has the meter burn uh, for it. But never mind, man. Get wrecked is just... He's just getting to town. Hold on. These hit staggers Whoa, coming out and get wrecked here. Oh, good opening. About one touch away from going up game number Ooh. one. That was sick. That was. But was it enough damage? Raids with the Qatar toss. You don't want to be trading right now, though. This is gonna hurt. The ship damage. Ozzy's oh, gotta be oh so my God. careful here. He's gotta be so careful here, and he gets caught by the uppercut. And that'll be game one going to get wrecked. Too slow. Alright, I gotta go. Yo, yo, yo. He's gotta take it easy. He's gotta take it easy. Let me take a look at the match arena real quick, see where we're at. And again, guys, you know, we are narrowing down to the finale. So if you want to put your contribution to the, the prize pool for the competitors, now is your time. We have about one more week left for the Champions of the Realm Season 2. And we're about 
$2,370 for the Season 2 Finale Pot. And these players got a lot to play for here. A lot to play for. All right, I came back. What yeah. happened? You you had a you had a Leyenda Carnage situation? Yeah, I had a bit of a Leyenda Carnage and and, and, a, and a sprinkle a dash on the side of Evolvo. Okay, opening him up, getting started strong, get wrecked. Oh, I want to see the Shadow Priest in the chat. Shadow Priest, baby, we gotta get Shadow Priest right now before oh, it's too late. Punish. Yo, kind of kind of a restand grab situation there. Get wrecked. I, and it's weird because I didn't see him use that move like not once that uh, first first set, first round, first game, first fight, oh, first chip of Yeah, a lot of damage. That's a chip out. Get wrecked. Taking control here, regardless of the character switch from Ati, still playing so well. Can I ask you, Caboose, is Ati even sure of this variation pick he's, he's gone with? I'm, I'm not mean, sure. I he got a question mark on this variation. I mean, yeah, it does seem like he's not even sure of what's going on here. Like, I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna bop him in the head, getting a nice launcher here. Going with the acid straight to the ground. Let's see what happens. This is getting wild. Nice. Oh, that's that special move. Bro, we've seen a lot of, uh, what's his name? Aaron Black's util utilizing this tool here and it is just fucked up. It adds like a very in-depth 50-50 situation that he could play on with you. Instead of just going for that incredibly unsafe low, he can go for the low shot. Which oh, is, and that's oh, gonna he's be dead. the game he's dead. guaranteed get wrecked regardless of the, the character switch has managed here real well. Johnny Cage wins. Hey, 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 little Ziggy, don't hey. fucking, little Ziggy, don't bullshit us like that. You put 50,000 into the match arena, we're gonna have to call oh, the police. Little, little Ziggy, you, you buddy. If you put 50,000 in the match arena, I'll call Ed Buno. I'll tell him to put you in the game. <laughs> Johnny Cage. Yeah, don't tell him that, because he'll do it, and then he's going to be expecting to be in the game. I'll do it. I'll do it. I promise. How are you going to get him in the game? I told him. I just told you I'm going to call Ed Boone. What if Ed Boone says no? He's not going to say no. Look, watch. I'm going to call him right now. Hey, Ed. Yeah, it's Caboose. It's... Uh, he hung up. What the? I think he's. I think he lost. He lost connection. I think. I think he lost connection. Shit. He lost. He just lost connection. Yeah. He'll call me. He'll call me later. Oh shit. He'll call. Nah, he'll call me later. Don't worry. He just texted me. What? Was he? what? he said, "Tell what Caboose you? to never call me again." Oh my uh, god. What? What'd you do to him? You can't even just tell me that. What'd you do to him, bro? I, I don't know what I did. It's not like I called him like at least a hundred times asking him to put me in the game. It was only like 50 or 60. Oh, he's gonna catch him with the low slide. Auti right now just throwing all the mix he's got here, really trying to reverse the tides of battle. Get wrecked up two to O. Oh. This is tough, man. It's a tough situation for him to deal with. Wait a sec, Aquaman. Aquaman's got a. He's got Ed, Ed's line. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, Aquaman. <laughs> Tell him to put Lil Ziggy in the game. Tell him to put Lil Ziggy in the game, Mr. Rockman, please. Put the little Dominican man in the game. <laughs> Yo! Can you imagine? Oh my God. Imagine the uh, the character intro for him in the Combat Pack 3 trailer. Oh my goodness, that would be insane. But get wrecked now on match points after after an incredible fatal blow cancel combo. Ooh, down three. He's gonna knock him back. Yeah, Tweety, that, dude, I'm, that's what I'm saying. And, you know, me and Caboose were kind of stressing it. The whole fucking, at least going into week four, we started stressing yeah. it really hard. Yeah. Like, these, you guys gotta sign up. If you want to get a chance to get into that, that finale, I know a lot of people are busy. A lot of people don't really have the, the schedule worked around for the Champions of the Realms. But if you can ask your, your boss or, I don't know, find a way to change your, your, your days. 
You know, you gotta compete for every week to get the best possible chance to get into that finale spot. Absolutely, with two weeks left to go and one of those final two qualifiers being crowned this Friday, there is just about pretty much one more chance to try and get into that finale. And as Tweety just mentioned in the chat, there are still so many heavy hitters in the community that are competing in Champions of the Realms too. It's so brutal. Oh my oh. god! That's it! Big fatal blow. No, no, I'm blow sorry, I'm sorry. I thought Get Wrecked was off. For some reason, I thought that was his fatal blow. But Ozzy's staying alive here. Get Wrecked yeah. definitely gonna be feeling that one. And if Ozzy wants to be making a comeback, that was his moment right there. You know, get a little fatal blow on the table, steal the round. He's feeling himself. The only tough thing about this situation right now is the fact that Gerek still has a fatal blow of his own, and that is one of the most dangerous things you can hear when you're facing off against a Johnny Cage. And in the hands of Gerek, it's even more intimidating. That's gonna be a whip punish off the cross up there. Gerek starts off this last round real good. Can cover the back two two. Oh, bobs him in the head, the mix-up. That's the smart stuff. You're waiting for his hundred low options. He's got the low gunshot. He's got the low slide. And look at that. He just said, you know what? Take this fucking rifle to the back of the head, you stupid ass. Yo, Aaron Black, you need to chill with the language, bro. What the hell? Nice back throw there from Ati. Bro, you sounded like Bane. You, you just sounded like Bane when you did that laugh. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, We'll move on. Yes. What was that? Johnny Cage wins. You got Bane? I think that was Bane. I think that was Bane that just said that. Did he? Did he walk in? I didn't see him in the studio. What the? This one was Bane here. What's going on? And either way, get wrecked. Great job there with the Johnny Cage. Will be the first competitor to make it into the top eight for this Friday. Again, that'll be taking place 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. Twitch.tv slash DestroyerFGC. Yes, sir. And uh, we're going to be moving on to our next match now for the top 16 of tonight, which is going to be Achilles facing off against King Gambler. This should be another hype set. Really excited for it. Oh, shit. Also, man, huge congrats to Get Wrecked making it into that top eight. He's so damn consistent, dude. I got to say, Get Wrecked, we've seen him in a lot of these top eights for the Champions of the Realm Season 2. Yep. So huge shout-outs to him. Maybe this will be the, the week he finally gets that, that qualifying finale spot. You know, we got two more spots left. About a million competitors uh, yeah. trying to get those spots. And it is just going to be a bloodbath. Right. Next match about to go underway. Achilles and King Gambler. This should be a good one, man. You know, King Gambler showing that he's coming into this tournament right now with variety. He's got some characters up his sleeve that I don't think a lot of the competitors were kind of prepared for. You know, everybody knows him as the Matokan legend. They know him as the Teta Toto of Matoka. That's what he told me. That's what he, that's what he they know, know him as. What the fuck? So I, apparently that's not what he's known as, but uh, oh, it's not? that's what the ancestors were telling me. Oh, okay. Aaron Black. That's what the ancestors were telling me. Well, it looks like Achilles is going to be rocking the Aaron Sorry, Black King Gambler, fire. sticking with the Liu Kang, the Fire God Liu Kang. That's one of the sickest Ooh. skins we've seen in Mortal Kombat. Yo, I don't know what's going to happen in this Mortal Kombat movie, okay? Yo, but I can't they, wait. I can't wait. It better guys be it? bloody. It better if be bloody. Guys, it, right? Let's say we get more than one. Imagine they do like live action Fire God Liu Kang at some point. That would be crazy. Okay, okay, hold on. You know, I, I don't want to like. Skilled master. I don't want to say this, but I don't want them to follow no storyline from Mortal Kombat 11. I don't want no fucking Fire God Liu Kang. I want, I, no, I don't. I want it to be, you know, like a real traditional MK movie. I know they already kind of throw that out the window with the, the boxer. I know, uh, what's his name? Louis Tang. He's going to be playing the kickboxer or whatever. But so hold on, I'm not talking about for the first movie. What are you talking I'm about? Talking if they make more of them. You oh, know, like, okay, okay. You know, if we get to like Mortal Kombat three, if the movies are good, then 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 bring that in. I'm not saying I'm not saying right off the bat. Look, you're you know what? Throwing Galactus Caboose into the movie and I'll be happy. <laughs> I'll be happy to cameo in the movie. 
Get me in the Mortal Kombat movie is uh I don't care, I'll be a No, no, yo, yo, they gotta get us in the movie playing MK in like in, in like a scene where they're fighting and they break into a room and they gotta have me and you playing MK. Yeah, yes. And then exactly. I and then I look at the screen, I say, Evolvo! And I'll be like, play in the carnage. And then the movie comes out and we don't see that scene, we say, yo, what happened? <laughs> yeah, they cut, our, they cut our scene in the movie. Motherfucker. Oh, he's gonna get the stomp. Wait a second. This is it. Pulling out the rifle. How many bullets he got? He got five bullets left. This man is in Verdansk fighting against Fire God Luke Kane. Can he win? But if there's a character that is capable of robbery, it is absolutely Liu Kang. Whoa. And with 15 seconds left on a fatal blow, there could have been an opportunity there. No, Achilles will land the back two and close it out. Fight. No way. Blow. No way. Kraken Eternal says there's a spot for collector in the movie. I don't fucking believe it. There's no way. I don't think they got any MK11. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh, he's gonna get the jump in three. This is gonna be. Oh, what, what? He had the conversion locked and loaded, but Gambler instead goes for the stagger. Still gonna get some juicy damage on the table, so it wasn't a bad choice after all. Good wake, wake up, up three. Achilles right now. Really trying to turn the tides of battle here. Yo, that mix up, bro. And it. Oh, he is. I think he's dead. The game. Yes, indeed, it will be Achilles taking game one. Not necessarily convincingly, but. With two rounds fairly quickly against King Gambler, who's definitely got to take a beat here to figure out what he's going to do to try and adjust going into game two. Yeah, very interesting stuff here. Uh, you know, and I'm not going to say, but I think this was not expected. King Gambler, he's going to be going down game number one. We still haven't seen him pull out that Night Wolf today. I don't know what he's waiting for. Maybe trying to like hide some super secret tech for the pro series or something well bro do you think we'll s oh never mind never mind i mean hey there's a lot of money on the line for this finale you gotta give it your all at this point man try to get that spot especially if you made it this far into the tournament you know one game one match away to get into the top eight for friday mm -hmm. 6 p.m eastern time zone live twitch.tv slash destroy fgc you're gonna want to give it your all, hundred <laughs> percent. Say that ten times fast. Shoot it a Bible, shoot it a Bible, shoot it a Bible, shoot it a Bible, shoot it a Bible. Bible, Bible. Well, he goes for the stagger straight into the toe step. This man said, "Juggle this, juggle this dynamite, bitch." I'm from the Ram Ranch. I'm from the Ram Ranch. Yeah, you definitely got to pull out your best of the best. That's exactly what King Gambler's doing here. Rocking the Matokan Warrior. I didn't quite see what variation he was shooting for here, but... The Matokan one. The Matokan one, huh? That's interesting. Bro, I remember seeing a, a variation of Nightwolf. I think it was King Gambler's where he was like throwing a fucking axe on the ground and he'll call it back. Very reminiscent yep. of, uh, of Ronin Takeda. You know what I'm, I'm talking seeing, about, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been seeing a lot of people showing off some, some swaggy combos with that move. Yeah, it looks nice. The corner. It looks nice. Oh man, but right now Achilles is doing a really good job keeping King Gambler at bay, even with the switch to the Matokan Warrior and the low shots with the rifle do it. By the way, there was an escape fill on the throw previously in that round. Achilles has a crushing blow back throw locked and loaded. Oh shit. Very scary for King Gambler. This is very scary indeed. Good staggers. He tries to go for the... Yo, I fuck that move is insanity, bro. It keeps him safe, it looks oh, like. Man. That low shot puts him at a distance where it's super hard to punish or... What, what is that shit on block? That low shot better not be safe, bro. I think it's Matoka. It's block. safe. It's fucking safe. It's gotta be safe. Yeah, it's He went for it again. Yeah. This man has a safe bro. mix, bro. What is going on? Nether realm. A Matoka. Mix. The hell? Well, that's a punish into the crush. Definitely an immediate breakaway there from King Gambler. Oh man, right now, Achilles risking it with the slide and it pays off. 
Gonna utilize the last couple of bullets of the rifle. That sets up the crushing blow of the rifle. He this could be big. Bro, he has two bars of meter. He should have known that breakaway was coming. A fatal blow at that moment could have could have been a big problem. But I still believe King Gambler gets to jump in. Tries to go for the delayed overhead. The overhead. Yo, he went straight for that low shot. This man is just teasing at this point. And that's the game. He's just teasing with that fucking low shot at this point. It's up 2-0 now in this set. What do you do if you're King Gambler here? Because this Aaron Black is solid. Honestly, at this point, <laughs> you're going to have to get the Toto Teta protein mix and really uh, turn things around. Yeah, mix in some Aaron leche, Black. some Vex milk. Yeah. Throw All of it. Anything you possibly All get of in it. there. Actually, you know what? There's one thing. There's one thing I think that'll help. What? I think what it needs to do is he needs to buy some G Fuel, the Mortal Ooh. Kombat G Fuel. And he's either got to use Code Caboose or Code Combo with listen, the K at checkout. Listen, I want to I want to let you know right now, like, uh -huh. you know, G Fuel, uh, if, if you guys are, are looking for a substitute to, uh, like, a, a caffeinated beverage, something that just keeps you up, something that, that you know, nice. you want to take a sip of this uh, in the morning and just be energized, or if you want to, you know, you have a late night work session you got to do, and you just don't have enough energy, G Fuel comes in clutch, bro. You don't understand. Like, honestly, casting... I don't know where I'd be without the G Fuel right now. I'd probably be, I'd be on the floor fucking hyperventilating like SpongeBob out of, out of the yeah. ocean. Oh my God. I said, water, water. Fight. Holy shit. What was that? What just happened? What was that? Uh, you tell me. What was that? I'm asking you. What's happening? I'm asking you. Oh shit, he's going. Yo, you right. scared me right now, bro. Hold on, yo. Yeah, I didn't security. Mean to, I didn't mean to. Security. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh, wait, wait. Is this a new variation he's got? He did not have the hawk before. If he did not. Or maybe he did, oh. just didn't have an opportunity to use it. Or if I forgot he had it. I don't know. Maybe, but right now King Gambler definitely having a way better start to this game than what we had seen in the two games prior. Achilles, though, making a bit of a comeback. Tag him with the low. Oh, this is oh, getting shot. way too close. The back two tries to go for the wow. fucking mix. Yo, why would Achilles risk something like this? He is so close to closing this out, getting a spot at the top eight winner side. He goes for the... Well, I mean, one thing as a, as a competitive player, I feel like you always have to assert your dominance. You always got to let the, the other player know that you're not afraid to go for that YOLO shit, you know? You're not afraid. For sure, but sometimes you also got Yo, we got K7, Waz in the chat, a lot of awesome people in the chat. Hey. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. How many viewers we got? Let me let's see. Almost 1,300. 1,300. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into the Champions of the Realms uh, Season 2, Week 7 pool play. This is madness. Another right. Matokin okay. club to the head. This man's going to have a headache at the, at the end of this match, Caboose. I can't remember. What is the, uh, what is the Hawk do again? I think it's, it's, it stops you. It stops. Yes, it stops you from amplifying your fucking special. Do you know how crucial that is? Not being able to get your combo launchers, not being able to get your additional damage, your well, your now, optimal enders. Is, is that killer for someone like Aaron Black? You know, especially with that low shot and everything. And this throw is sending us to a oh game four. Oh my god! I don't know. I mean, this, this obviously this variation switch has done real well. King Gambler got a game on the board now, but I don't know if that hawk is extremely detrimental to someone like Achilles. The only time I think you ever really see someone like Aaron Black spending meteors when he's off the slide, and half the time we're seeing um, we're seeing Achilles just going for the back two into the low shot to keep himself safe. Should be interesting though. It's not going to be an easy 3-0 for Achilles. King Gambler is battling back with the Revenant Matoken Warrior. My token leche all over the screen right now. What is King Gambler gonna do? He just honestly he needs to close his eyes and he needs to pray to the ancestors. That's all he needs to do. If he can manage to talk to the ancestors this this next the next two games, he can hundred percent make this comeback. The ancestors, they're gonna be whispering in his ear, they're gonna be like that. <laughs> They're gonna go like that. Yo, yo, you want to hear uh, his ancestors? I don't know if you could turn on the audio on the stream right now, but I'll get his ancestors right now. Yo, yo, ancestors, come on, come on out. 
They're coming out. They're coming out. Single file. They're all coming out. Single file right now. Is that the Halo team? Come out. Come out. Ancestors, come out. Bro, the ancestors are talking to King Gambler. The ancestors are talking to King Gambler. Ooh, wait a second. Scud shot can interrupt the hawk? I had no idea. Oh, got caught though. Watch the overhead. Nicely done. King Gambler though, keeping himself safe. Got caught by the low shot. Oh, look at this opening. A lot of damage in the corner here. My Vulcan Warrior just going ape shit right now. Oh my god. One, one, two. King Gambler is making a hell of a run right now with this variation switch. There's a champions of the fucking three O's right now, bro. I mean, champions of the, of the game fives. Champions of the game five. The overhead gonna connect out of nowhere. Wow, coming from downtown with that forward two oh. and a crushing blow. He dropped the combo though. You can't he, got a, combo. he got a little too carried away right there. Especially with Achilles having no defensive meter, that could have been so much damage for King Gambler to get away with. Instead, now Achilles has the life lead. Good jump in. He's gonna get the throw. The War Club straight to the back of the dome. King Gambler is really making this happen here, Caboose. I am astonished right now. Very impressed. Very impressed with this variation switch. Ooh. There's the Hawk. Not sure what Achilles was doing there. Just an in your face cut shot and this double meter combo oh my goodness and we're going to a game five holy cow <laughs> amplifications my goodness king gambler has awoken the matoken warrior has awoken was that two game fives for the uh top 16 no i think the first set was a 3-0 get wrecked oh yeah i get wrecked up 3-0 on Audi. Damn, dude. King Gambler is really holding it together here. Really plowing through this match. You know, he's overcoming everything. Going up against a 50-50 powerhouse such as Aaron Black. To make the reverse 3 on a character like that? That's not easy, bro. That is not easy. Oh, shit. If Night Stalker is euphoring... Funny thing is, we're going to be seeing another Aaron Black, bro. Aaron Blacks are just fucking coming in in full force. They might have closed their Ram Ranch for today or something. They all signed up. I think Achilles switched his controls. You think into a different going to a different variation? He's switching horses. I think he is gonna go to a different or a different variation. Pulsy Walsy? Is this uh is this variation dedicated to Pulse? It's gotta be. Would a variation name like that? This might be the 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 Pulsy Walsy variation here. This Pulse might have taught him how to play this character. I don't know. All right, well, this is it. Game five about to be underway. We promised you guys some hype matches here in the top 16. Winner will be moving on to the top eight for Champions of the Realm 2 week seven. That'll be this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here, twitch.tv slash destroyer FGC. And to start off game right. five, we got a nice little throw from King Gambler. 6 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. Oh, another good throw. Oh, he's trying to go for the Hawk, but nothing's there. Wait a second, he's gonna get the 1-1 one, one counter punish. Another Hawk. He said, what are you gonna amplify, you stupid idiot? I spoke to the fucking ancestors, and they gave me strength! Drop the combo, but lands the 1-1-2. One, one, Look at these staggers into the throw. Match point for King Gambler. This could be the beginning of the reverse 3-0 being complete. This is brutal stuff we're watching here, man. Match point for King Gambler. Achilles is in trouble. Cut shot. Tosses the acid. And Gambler just kind of burns. Oh, he throws right a hawk. Now. Yo, it's crazy that that hawk not only does it apply that uh, damage, that that debuff on the amplification, but it also does damage. <laughs> yeah, it can hit. Does it do chip on block? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it does. Nice throw there from King Gambler. Uh, just gut shot to avoid the hawk and to get some damage. Now Achilles. He goes for the down the poke. The jump in. Tries to get the grab. Oh my god, the back two. This is going crazy right now. Achilles is about to tie things up, Caboose. And he will do so. Wow. With the wake or the um the pressure. 
And this is it. Final round, final game. This match determines who makes it into the top eight on the winner's side. Try to go over the overhead. Online. Oh my god, interrupting the gunshots. Bro, this is gonna hurt very oh, much. Oh yeah, though. 34%. This dude is swinging. But well, wait a second, Akili's still alive here. Gonna hit him with the gimmick. Beautiful. The down poke straight into that, that mid. That was so smart from Achilles. Again! Beautiful, yeah. That same gimmick. And the throw after they both have a little bit of a stare down. Austin's the acid. Fatal blow for Achilles is available. 40 I can't seconds watch. on the clock. Still plenty of time. You know, one conversion. One conversion into four, fatal four. blow. One anything right now. He goes for another drop kick. Hoping that that oh crushing God. blow would have ended it. Oh but the block God. from King Gambler. Another oh, my one. God. Another 4-4. Four, four. Oh, nice oh. interruption. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, no. He tried to go for a jump in, but got caught by the fatal blow. And that'll be the game. Achilles avoids the reverse 3-0 and moves on to the top eight. I'm literally mind blown after that. I am mind blown, Caboose. It all went down to that last moment. What's crazy is I don't know, like, he was kind of fucked no matter what. Because from that distance, he had to make that jump in. It was the perfect distance to avoid the uh, the acid on the ground. And if he would have, you know, stood there, he would have died to chip damage. That was just so much ground that uh, Achilles covered with that acid. You guys, you guys don't understand, all right, what, what Champions of the Realms does to my heart, okay? Matches like that being as close as they were, it's just not nice. It's just not nice. I'm going to have to ask all the competitors to stop letting matches be that close, if you don't mind. I agree, man. I totally agree. <laughs> uh, really intense set between Achilles and King Gambler. Achilles closing it out, though, with that Aaron Black. And we will now be moving on to the Pool 3 match, which is Jet Ring against Night Stalker. This should be a really good one. Uh, let me... Yep. Okay, so I'm already spelling this wrong. Okay, and there's a... Uh, night... What the hell am I spelling wrong here? What'd you do? You messed it up? No, he just uh, used uh, different lettering here, so I, I had to change up a bunch of things. And then he has a, a bunch of R's at the end, but we got him. We got Night Stalker. It's going to be Night Stalker going up against Jet Ring. Um, Night Stalker been plowing through the competition uh, tonight, I got to say. And I'm super excited for this match because, dude, that Joker play from Jet Ring. That yeah. Joker play from Jet yeah. Ring, bro. You want to turn off that privacy shit Idiot. off. You want to <laughs> turn that privacy shit off. I know yeah. it's very unfortunate. It's a, it's a, something that's out of the way, and you probably got some annoying ass people that are trying to holler at you. But it just helps a lot to be able to get your invite out, and you know you receive it. Just everything runs smooth. Because the last thing yeah. I want to do is add 200 people in my friends list. Exactly, yeah. Please have that setting off. It just makes it easier for people who are running these online tournaments. And I think, you know, with everything that's going on currently in the world, we may be in a situation where we're doing online tournaments for a little longer. Yeah, so, uh, that, that's totally true. If you're competing, you know, if you're trying to, if you're still trying to make some, some cash, if you're still trying to, you know, make a name of yourself in the NRS scene or in whatever scene, make sure you just, you got that setting off so we can send some invites without having to add people every single time. But all right, all that's out of the way. We're here, pool three, our third match of the night, three out of four between Night Stalker and My Jet Ring. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a second. I hope he was funny. What? Oh, oh, never mind. I thought I, I didn't, I didn't see Aaron Black there for a second. I thought I no, heard. He's going Aaron Black. He's going Aaron Black. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, look at the run he's done in that bracket Ooh. so far, bro. He's been taking out a lot of names, and I see a lot of Aaron Black on the images there. Oh, the down four into the Bird Boy beat down the sneaky stuff coming out of Jet Ring. Hit confirm clown. Oh, that shit's dirty. Oh yeah, my everybody. god, that shit's Talking dirty. My hair in the chat. Appreciate you. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Galactus Hair. <laughs> Gonna hit him with the launcher. This is looking really good. Tries to go in with the jump three. The counter on the back twos. 
Bro, this move is so annoying. It lasts like 12 days. Yeah, I know. Quick up back roll. Could have been a potential whip punish. That is huge. That, oh my God. No fatal blow. Yo, there's pressure. He's gonna meet Brandon, keeping it safe. He's backing up a little. And the oh, interactable man. Night Stalker, you he maniac. Had fatal blow. He that was pretty, that was pretty wild. Why did he not go for fatal? That could have been that could have been the round potentially there, but either way, Night Stalker gonna take that one. Nice. That could have been the Shibin and Pipo. A bit of a Shibin and Pipo, kind of almost was. Can't believe that way that hit. Down four. Oh, Night Stalker has corner position, but the wake up down two from Jet Ring, bro. This guy does not give a single fuck. To wake up with a down two like that, you gotta have big balls. He's got big. big he, he's got balls. big ball syndrome. Look oh, at this damn, dude, man. You don't, you don't got the shadow breeze on your. I got the shadow breeze. Dang. Oh, that's a punish, crushing blow off the forward two one two. Try to catch up with the down two, but wasn't able to land it. Night Stalker does have the fatal blow though. Tries to go for it. There's a punish and an, am an amplified bird boy beatdown, which builds up to that crushing blow for Jet Ray. Tried to go for that down four, which pretty much inadvertently gave him the opportunity to avoid getting caught by that fatal blow. Wow, what a risky attempt at the bird boy beatdown, but it pays off for Jet Ring. Back to immediately into the fly. Oh my God, again. Oh, that's sick. This is dirty, bro. This is so dirty. He's gonna roll out of there. Night Stalker, man, still in this. This is quite the match we're getting. First game against these two players here. He goes for the shot. Oh my God. Wait, scud shot doesn't stop the, the rocket? I, I guess not. I guess not amplified. That was crazy. That's Ooh, crushing, crushing blow! We could tell the end of Wait, the game. Wait, no, Ring. I don't think this. Wait, is this gonna kill? This is a uh, lot of damage. Oh my Magic god, into the acid! Shuttle. Smart stuff from Night Stalker. Kind of guaranteeing that situation there. Actually, no. I feel like if if uh, Jet Ring would have went with the get up roll the other direction, yeah. possibly he could have avoided that. Dude, these matches are getting out of control right now. I think that was just a hard read from uh, from Night Stalker with the puddle throwing it close, waiting for that escape or that wake up roll. It was, a hard, it was a hard ship it in Pipo. It was a ship it in Pipo Deluxe. Deluxe. The deluxe edition. Aaron Black, the Joker. Let's see what Jet Ring does here. Is he hovering over different variations, trying to find a better option to deal with uh, Aaron Black? That's honestly the, the, the best thing to do at a moment like this, man, because this guy is playing out of his fucking mind. Yeah, I think we're in for a hell of a set here with the way that we saw that all pan out. But again, there was an opportunity for Jet Ring to get away with the round much earlier had he commit to a fatal blow. Fight. So if you get rid of some of those some of those small error errors. Oh wait, did he switch variations? I believe so. Yes, he's annoying clown instead of hit confirm clown now. What's he got on this one? Still has that that corpse body swing and shit. He's gonna get a crushing oh, that, blow. Down two, guaranteed damage. Oh! Beautiful read! Kind of forcing Night Stalker to break away there. Oh wow. Oh, he's got the kapow, okay. This is insanity, he tries to catch him slipping. Another dropkick, gonna go wrong. Jet Ring, bro, this variation switch is seeming to be very promising here. He made the okay. switch and is just annihilating. I need somebody to explain to me about the amplified, like the, the puppet gun. Somebody explain to him. Joker. Somebody explain to him, where, please. Where is it? Where is it that you're safe to just neutral duck him? Somebody Four explain screen? to him. Somebody explain it to me. Where is it that you're safe to neutral duck it? Nice. It's a mid. Mm. You can neutral duck it. it nice fucking neutral duck it literally last game. He's gonna throw the jack in the box and a clean jump in, bro. The way that jack in the box just sets up pressure for Joker is beautiful. This chat's lost. Why? They're saying you can't neutral dog it. It happened in the last game. 
You guys are lost. It's official. Man, I mean, it was probably a, uh, it was it was probably a character specific problem that occurred there. You know. Unbelievable. Who knows what could have been the case, but oh, that's gonna be the game. that's a ball crusher. Night Sucker's gonna be ballless. Yo, this guy's nutsack is never gonna be the same. Chet ring. Taking game number two, tying things up here one apiece. Oh, this Joker looks so awesome, man. He looks like he came out of like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory or something, you know? He's got the goggles. He's got the fucking wee wee nose. He's got everything. The wee wee nose. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Huh? Hold on, what? All right, well, we're all tied up on this set. The variation switch has clearly worked out for Jet Ring. Just having them having more combo potential, I think, is exactly what he was looking for here. The having more shipping and pipo? A little bit more shipping and pipo, Aaron indeed. Black. It's been a very nice set here. Night Stalker. Night Stalker switching variations, too? It seems like it, bro. Is this turning into, like, a variation counter pick or something? What the... I'm not sure. What does he got here? Oh, is that the command grab? Scud shot, cattle toss, enhanced, okay. locked, and loaded. I'm not too sure. I think cattle toss might be the low trap. Oh, is it? Is it? I can't remember. Oh, it's Rocking a command the, uh, grab. It's okay. a command grab. Yeah, yeah. That's it, right? Yep. He's busting, busting shots. Wait a minute. He's gonna go for another drop kick. The low shot gonna be a nice confirm there. Night Stalker with the smoking gun variation. A great command grab, bro. You kind of just Very gotta nice. sit there and watch yourself get aired out every single time that, with that shit. Is that armor breaker? I think so. Another is one! armor breaker? Oh, man. The good, the bad. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, the bad, the ram wrench. Oh, Scud shotting him right out of there. That was sick, bro. Jerry tried to go with a spontaneous forward three. And Night Stalker was ready for it. Try to go for the armor breaker there, expecting a breakaway. Another one. DJ Cal! We the best! <laughs> my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. His armor break is the... Um, the, the thing where he hits you with the rifle over the head. That's right, yeah. Thank you for that. Oh, catching the ghetto, bro. This is huge. Night Stalker's gonna be taking this game with an interactable conversion. Going up game number two. This is a battle right now. I can't count. I'm the bro. Take convincingly from Night Stalker. One Wait. game take convincingly from Jet Ring, you know? I'm ready to get out of here, man. Come on. Before the fucking stream crashes, get us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God, please, no. Holy shit, this M7 guy just really wants to hail. He wants everybody to hail my, my hair. So he keeps saying, all hail Caboose's hair. Yo, yo, send him a fucking sample. Charge him $100 for it. He need to relax. Become the next Belle Delphine. Aaron huh? Black, Wait, what? The Joker. Sorry, what sorry. I don't know what I just said. I take it back. I take that back. Get out of your mind. Nerf Caboose's barber. <laughs> I haven't seen my barber in a minute. We've been on lockdown. <laughs> Shit on <explode. laughs> All right, <laughs> we're gonna be going into the next match, potential final match here. Night Stalker versus Jet Ring. It's kind of odd though, because if you look at his uh, his player card, Night Stalker, he's repping a lot of Kano stuff. So to see the Aaron Black coming out of him, I mean, this is your fouring at the end of the day. He's been an Aaron Black player true and through throughout all the, the MK installments, MKX and MK11. So see him making a switch off this character for a high stake match like this would be kind of, uh, Uncharacteristic from him. Wow! We'll be kind of cocky, but. Nice back to immediately into the slide, and the wake up gets all this block that thing into a punish. Bro, what is happening to the chat right now? <laughs> what? 
I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh my, I don't man. know. Thanks, combo though there for a Night Stalker. And oh my, I just realized again that Jet Ring switched back to his hit confirmed clown variation. Here we go. You were right about that. Hit confirmed clown is back in business, and he is swinging these fucking corpses all over the. Whoa! Whoa. He, he dropped oh it. He had a okay. second chance though. He had a second chance. Wow, yo, Jet Ring is a maniac for even trying to break away in that situation. He should have known that was guaranteed. He probably thought he was going to drop it a second time. That was super close. Round two, fight. Starting off with the gunshots right off rip. Oh, he can open the standing too. That is such an effective tool. Because, like, not only is it a super fast startup normal but like it, it's hit art just knocks you out of the air sometimes so it covers a lot of options that wake up standing two from joker very smart stuff from uh jet ring but nice soccer right now gonna toss the dynamite right in his chest goes for the 50 50 crazy stuff from night stalker his match point by the way for night stalker Or good block though. Jet ring. Oh, the jump in works. But that's a punish off of the overcommitment. Oh, the command grab. This is so close, Caboose. Nice soccer one touch away from advancing into the winner's side of the top eight. Watch out for that fatal. Wow! Again, there it is. That's the cancel into the guaranteed combo. Beautiful stuff there from Jet Ring. Final round. Still an opportunity to send this to game five. Sports. Oh, look at that. A neutral duck. Look at that, chat. Uh-huh. Oh, you can't you can't neutral duck the amplified gunshot? Weird, uh -huh. man. I think he's like... Uh -huh. it, it's... it's. I think it's it's range. You got to be at a certain range to duck it. It, 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 is, it is an unpredictable thing. It's when it's when the actual, like, rocket is at its height. It's yeah. Like the max height. Oh, my God. He keeps it safe with the meter burn on that, that uh, corpse. Good down four. He's gonna get that down one, trying to, st he's stealing the turn here. Another amplification on there. This man, Jet Ring, gonna get whip punished. Oh my God. Nice command grab. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, good throw. Oh this is God. huge. Nice soccer. Gonna walk himself into the oh corner. No. Wake up down two. This game's fucking fake. How did that wake up? How did that wake up down two work? How did that wake up down to work? How did that wake up down to work? How did that wake up down to work? Forever, right now, Night Soccer just about on the magic pixel had the whip punish opportunity. How did that wake up down to work? 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 Bro, this man Aaron Black was using the string that involves you to press fucking 100 buttons like super fast, and he starts throwing punches at rapid rate and. Wake up down two? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, there we go down two. Uh, there we go down two. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> is this guy driving by in a fucking train? That's not, that's me in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. I want to see non-stop how did that wake up down two in the chat <laughs> non-stop how did that wake up down two in the chat non-stop please we want it please wait 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 <laughs> No! <laughs> he makes the characters with Arnold! How? What is going on right now? Caboose! Caboose! Fuck off this movie! Caboose, I don't know! Get out! Get out of here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, for the fall too. <laughs> uh, how did the wake up down too? Uh, 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 
Oh my god, he didn't go for the nut stomper, bro. Yeah, I just realized. Yeah. I don't know if it's just me. Call me crazy, Caboose. But per perhaps he made this <laughs> perhaps he made this character switch specifically to try to get back at his ball sack. Huh? So he, you know, he can step on him, you know? What? He's got the move where you can step and break the balls, you know? Just like Joker. Oh. Right, right, right. You know? You know? <laughs> to get back at his ball sack? Yeah. I don't know, right now, it doesn't look like it's really doing him any favors. This jet ring still very much in control. Night Stalker got to find something. He's got to find Ooh, it now. Block. block the bird boy beat down. Overhead! Connects. I'm down done. How did he wake up down I'm two? done How with the wake. Up Bro, two? that wake up down two is oh absurd. Oh my god, he woke up Spanky down Doodle, two. Stop the music. Stop the music. Spanky Doodle, stop the music. Stop. Bro. He woke up down two again. Jet it felt ring. Like it had a disability for him too. Bro, that wake up down two is unstoppable. This man is literally gonna get into the winner's side top eight with the wake up down two. Unbelievable. How did he wake up down two? How did he wake up down two? How did he wake up down two? Un <laughs> unreal. That was un Unreal Engine 3.0 right there, bro. Oh man, they added the new engine, the new uh the new engine. Just with the champions of the realms, they added the new engine. <laughs> But Caboose, we're getting down to our final match yes, for sir. tonight. Are you excited? I am very excited. What is our final match here? It's oh wait, that's right. It's Illusions and Gur, right? We got the champ. Oh, we got the man. champions of the realms about to go at it with who? Illusions and Gur, the champion of the realms, Gur himself makes it into these top 16 matches on week seven, the second to last week Damn. for champions of the realms too. On Shut it down. Shut down the stream. Shutting it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut down the stream. I'm shutting it down. There's not enough hype. There's not enough hype. Yes. There's not enough hype. I'm not I'm not happy. Yes. There's not enough hype. Close it. I'm done. All right, here we go. Final game of the night. I see some nonstop hype in the chat. You love to see it. This is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Gur, the champion of the realms himself, facing off against illusions. Garrus, Jade, hype in the chat. Oh, this should be a good one, man. We got illusions going up against champion of the realm season one finale champion, Gur. Fail. Adapt. Evolvo! 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 I'm sorry, what was that, Garrett? Fail. Adapt. Don't go take that. Oh, shit! No way. He's here to win. <laughs> He's here to win. <laughs> he is here to win. Nice down two up the anti-air there. Good stuff. But there is the command grab. Tossing Jade like a rag doll. I love this too, man, because, you know, no matter how much this game evolves, you will see Garrus playing with his fucking character, Gur. They should just make a damn premiere skin of fucking Garrus Gur already, man. He, he earned it. Seriously, he kinda at this like, point? You know, he, he, he kind of, like, made him the trademark, Gur. I mean, Garrus. <laughs> I'm, call, I'm calling it Captain Gur! I've done that way too many times. At this Very point, they are one and the same. You're damn right about that. He's going to get the good throw. Illusions one touch away from closing this out. What you're going to do? Dude, look at this name. Undying Champion. Is this not any more fitting? Yeah, we're saying all that, though. But the time is ticking down. And Gur, oh, kind of getting zoned out. Illusions doing a really good job keeping Gur at bay. Round two, fight. Just walking back here. This is the final match for tonight. Final match for the winner side top 16. If you want to stay followed up with the full top eight roster, definitely make sure you're following Caboose or myself on Twitter. It's Holy at Destroy shit. FGC or at Caboose, so you can check out the full top eight roster. The forward two one twos. Like Hundred thousand channel points on Gur. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? There is two hundred thousand channel points bet on Gur for this match. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Who had that many litcher bottles? 
I don't know, but a down two crush is gonna land. And Gur, two down twos, three down twos. And the quarter and carry. carry. The crush? No, 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 oh, if that man, was crush, imagine. dude. I would have lost my mind. Imagine. That oh was my so god, wake up down two! Oh god. Nah, oh god. This, this is the champion of the wake up down two. No way. No way. Yeah, trying to hold the down four will do it. Gur ties up the rounds. Very intense. Illusions. Oh Gur fighting for the final spot Sorry. into the no winner's way. side top eight. Who's going to take it? No way. No way. Trying to catch him with these projectiles here. He's going to get the empty, the, the teleport. Oh, oh my god. That Breaking the fucking leg of Jane. That was godlike indeed. Going to go with a down three straight into a down one. Nice, yeah. avoiding both air projectiles. Well, that is another opportunity to punish Gur. Missed it that time, though. Leah's dance gets blocked. No punish, though. Maybe expecting the amplification. Beautiful pickup here from Gur. Dude, he's trying to knock her shoes off. Gur is not taking no prisoners. Because I say that, though, Illusion is going to get the throw. Throwing him in the corner. Wait a second, trying to catch the overhead. What? Oh, that oh. tech was nasty. Knowing when the perfect moment was to poke and he went for it. Oh, GG. Oh, that's it. That's GG. That's GG. That's GG. You guessed that 50-50 wrong one time and it's a wrap. I think at that point, you always got to block overhead on the 1-1-1. One, one, one. Like that 50-50, you're just better off getting caught by the sand trap and taking the hit there than you are ever guessing wrong getting caught by a crushing blow. Illusions unfortunately had to learn that the hard way. Game one goes to Gur. Evolvo! Evolvo! Oh no, Illusions in the chat. He said, I read the telly. R.I.P. Wow, Illusions. Don't let that phase you, man. You were definitely doing an incredible job against Gur in the first match. I advise you turn off this stream and get yeah, focused <laughs> for this top eight, this uh, top 16 match here. Or else I'm going to start screaming Evolvo. Evolvo. He's going to be sticking with the Jade. I mean, I wait, he did make a character switch to uh, who was it? And it actually did really yeah, fucking well. Rain. Rain. Yeah, right. go game two about to be underway this is gonna be real tough you're facing off against the guy who won the champions of the realm Gur. that said though illusions was holding up still playing real well still just very tough opponent and Gur just gonna toss the carcass of jade yeah, this is getting... Oh, my God! Catching the teleport! What? That was fucking sick. Uh -huh. That was fucking uh -huh. sick, bro. Does it have active frames when it's behind? Listen, it does have active frames. And I got to say, that looks like character-specific knowledge coming out of this Jade Whoa. from Illusions. Bro, look at this pressure. Talk, in a, talk about an aggressive Jade right now. Oh, my God. Gur wow. just taking a lot of hits. Bro, did he give up there? I don't know. No, nah, I don't think I don't way. think Gur gives up. I don't think Gur gives that, up. That was a rough round. Illusions. Clearly trying to make up for what went down there at the end of the last game. And notice he's gotta be careful going for that projectile oh confirmed because Gur has been getting that down four into the gauntlet almost yep. every time free. Yep. And that's just free damage for Gur at that point. Whoa, what a raid on the command grab! Oh, oh my god! That was nuts! That was ridiculous. What a beautiful read there from Illusions. Wallace block. Three, down ones. He's gonna get the crossover. Illusions right now has corner position. This is huge if he wants to make something happen here. Yo, if he, if he, bro, if he would've converted that. Oh my God, wake up down two. Got through. I'm convinced wake up down two is meta. Ooh, just oh, just had a rain no. of the fatal blow. Illusions right now. He needs one yeah. more touch to tie things up. And he will get it off the jump in. Illusions brushes off that last game and takes game two to tie this set up 1-1. One, one. Super sick stuff, man. We are getting a insanity of a match for the final game tonight. Wow. Leyenda. I like how fucking, what is that, myth? Leyenda? Is that TSM Myth or is that... Where? That's a new Pog champ. Oh, is that Myth? I'm yeah, not too sure. That, it looks that like is, him. That is, that is, that is Myth. 
Yo, when are we gonna get Pog Tree is the fucking next one, huh? When are we gonna get Caboose Pog as the next one? Oh, I would like that would be a fucking dude. That would be a historical moment. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. Motherfucker. <laughs> Mm, or Hayate Pog Champ. I like that one too. What's that, Spanky Doodle? You want your Pog? Get the fuck. You're not getting your Pog Champ, right? You should. You should German suplex Spanky Doodle for me. Why is he even asking for his Pog Champ, bro? I don't know, but I'm gonna elbow drop him off the top rope. Please. All right, going into a game three situation here. Yo, Leanda Carnage said caboose for combat pack three. Let's make it happen. I've been trying to call Ed Boon this whole month about it. Or all of last month, I should say. It's not just happening, man. You know, that conversation with Ed Boon, when it finally happens, maybe then he can make an you agreement. Don't worry. You don't worry about me. All right? You don't worry. You don't worry. Tries to go for the, the thingy majig, the pole attack. The thing hitting her in the side of the hip. Oh my god, dude. This is nasty coming out of Giris here. He's putting these like low stands. Just make it or not move. What is this shit? Gonna freeze time? Oh, yeah, I'll do a little combo here for Gur. It's a back and forth. Third down two. This is a back and forth match. Oh my goodness. A teleport and, the, and just like what you get off of that sand clone is ridiculous blocks the kick into the down one punish girl taking the round out of time out of Dototeta. out of giovanni oh that is not a gears you want to fight if you fight a gears is out of giovanni's bro yeah that's that's what that's where you get a fucking champion of the realm champion from yep a, a, a fucking Gears without Giovanni's pizza. The double command grab straight to the wall. Illusion is having a hard time getting out of this mix up. Oh no. Oh, he has no this breakaway. I think he's dead. Is he gonna be a. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. He could have crushed. He definitely could have. Our max potential is still there for Illusion. It Three is. Things have happened on Champions if Illusion makes this comeback, bro, he is gonna be hitting himself over the head. Why did I not uh, crushing blow? Yeah. Gotta wonder. The short hop connects. Oh, Illusions no. is chipping away. Oh, Illusions no. Is oh, no. Away. He needs one more touch, Caboose. Yeah, that's all he needs. That's They're all jumping. he needs. He goes for the stagger. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, my God. No whip punish. No whip punish. And the air to air. They connect. Gur takes the match. Yo, the intensity at those final moments, bro. Talk about shitting your fucking pants. I definitely got cocky butt. <laughs> Look, you got Chronica. She said, Gearis, it's okay to have cocky butt. And he went, it's called shit butt. <laughs> oh my God. This man is real explicit. This man is explicit, bro. Oh man, there was definitely, I think, an opportunity to whiff punish. Or Illusions just wasn't able to take that opportunity. It's okay, though. We've seen what Illusions was able to do of a tough loss. Brush it off immediately and take a very convincing win. Can Illusions do that again and send us to a final game five for the night? Or will Gur be heading into the Lost top eight for week seven of Champions of the Realms 2 and work to defend his throne? Oh, we about to find out in literally just one moment here. This could be the final game if Gur takes this match here. If Illusions, though, holds his ground, we can go into a Game 5 situation, Caboose, and we had a shit ton of them today. Oh, my God. Fight. Dude, we're, like, at, we're at four hours already. Jesus. Yeah, this has been a long one. Command grab into the corner. Illusions. Definitely got to get out of here as soon as you possibly can. This is where Gur has been at his strongest. He's just walking back here, trying to find an opening, and that is going to be it. Knocking the Kulito out of place. How much damage are we looking at? 25, and right into the Sand Trap. Dude, this is dangerous. Illusions. He's going to get choked out. The Karate Chop. Gur is really making this happen. Yo. And you know this is the only week Gur entered, right? 
Yeah, it is. That's right. You know, if Gurr makes top eight or even crazier, if Gurr makes it into the finale. Oh my Ooh. god, wait a minute. Let me shut the fuck up. This is a hold big on, hold on. commitment here. Illusions has got to make sure he makes this fatal blow worth it right now. Otherwise, it is going to be a very scary position for him. Oh, he's got to be careful. The down four. Down four. He can't he, avoid it. Uh, why didn't he go for the Lila? There it There's is. Devin, 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 avoid it. Ah! Oh, down one. I'm really about to fucking go crazy. Fatal blow for Illusions. This is way too much for me to handle. This is so tough now for Illusions. He's lost the Fatal Blow match point for Gurr. Okay, that could have been maybe a punish. I'm not sure if he had the opportunity or not. Goes for the 1-1 into the low sand trap. Judo chop. This is getting wild. He goes for the wiggle stick. What the? Oh my oh, god, what a fucking block. flawless block. Yep. Coming Gurr's out of Gurr. Gurr has awoken. definitely awoken, but the wake up down two. Or no, that was a down two. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. That's the wake up. I wake up the wait a minute, two. wait a minute. Do not count illusions out of this just yet. Gets the overhead connected. He's got the sand clone. Hella plus frames being activated right. Oh no. Is that crush? Is it? It's not going to be. No. Oh god. Down one. Still an opportunity for illusions. You gotta be so careful though. Every single hit here. You gotta be so careful. Wow. He gets over the throw. Gurr's not That's getting opened hard. up by anything. And the, the egg Gurr's sack. And the, the fucking egg sack right to the face. That'll be it. Gurr is moving on to the top eight for this week to try and defend his throne against illusion. Or sorry, against the uh, the other competitors who have made it. Well, I, the garden. Still, I mean, Illusion still has an opportunity. There's still an opportunity for Illusion to make the top eight. This is just the winner side of the pools. So all of these competitors that you just saw through the top 16 matches still have plenty to fight in the loser side and can make it into top eight. And there's Gurr in the chat as well. Big shout outs. Champion of the realms right there. You got to full screen me. I don't know what you're doing. Sorry, sorry. But yeah, this is it, man. You know, we are going down into the top eight that's going down this friday you're not going to want to miss out uh real quick let's take a look at some of the uh yeah at the winners in the top eight and like abu said if you want to stay followed up with the full top eight roster you're going to want to check it out over on our on our twitter handles uh at caboose or at destroy fgc we'll be yep. posting the uh the full top eight bracket sometime tomorrow in the afternoon or something so you can see the full roster and yeah, yeah, man, that's going to be going down this Friday. Again, I also want to give a little shout out to uh, Mr. Aquaman, who's going to be running the Coral Gauntlet. The Coliseum mm. is hosting a Coral Gauntlet, and uh, I've been invited to commentate that, so be sure to go check that out. It's going to be going down 7 p.m. Eastern time zone at Mr. Aquaman's Twitch channel. And yeah, as always, man, huge thank you to you, Caboose. I really appreciate you joining me every week on the comms to commentate these crazy-ass matches. Huge shout out to Mary Luna. You know, she's running the brackets in the background behind the scenes, just literally doing God's work. You have no idea how important Mary Luna is to this tournament. If you guys want to check her out, exclamation point Mary in the chat. She streams on Twitch. She also does tarot readings. I don't know if you guys are into astrology and all that crazy shit, but you could definitely go check it out. You could probably find something awesome about yourself. And you're going to get freaked out because she's pretty fucking accurate with it. So go check her out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash XO Mary Luna. You definitely want to go check her out. She's an awesome yeah. person and a great contribution to the Champs of the Realms. Caboose, you got any fucking words, bro? This week was wild.